Many martial arts have burned in the flames of time. But one style has emerged from the ashes of combat sports evolution, time and time again. This fantastic fighting spectacle is known as Muay Thai. And tonight, you will see 18 modern day warriors test themselves in the ultimate combat sports arena. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Patong Boxing Stadium, Sinem Yearn Road in Phuket, Thailand. This is Phoenix Fighting Championship and this is Phoenix Seven. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Patong Boxing Stadium here in Phuket, Thailand for what will be a fantastic night of Muay Thai action. Before we get underway, I would like to introduce you to one key figure, the man who makes all this possible. He is the Phoenix himself, the president of Phoenix Fighting Championship, Mr. Shahei Yaravenya. Hey, is there anything you'd like to say to the, the fight fans here and those watching around the world? Thank you, Grant. Of course, first of all, Sawadi Krab Phuket, La Sawadi Krab Thailand. Thank you to the beautiful Thai people. Thank you to the Kingdom of Thailand for having Phoenix once again. Thank you for every single person who's here in this stadium. And of course, thank you to all our Phoenix fighting championship fans that are looking at us worldwide live on our official Facebook page on Phoenix. So you have nine amazing fights. I hope you enjoy them and it's going to be some really explosive fights. Thank you again for coming. The best is yet to come and we'll be back much sooner than you think. Thank you. Oh, it's Mr. Shahai Yerofenia, the man who makes all this happen, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get underway with our world-class Muay Thai action. Our first contest will be fought in the Phoenix under 76 kilogram category. Please welcome the first fighter making his way to the blue corner, representing Thailand, Chok Eminent Air Tiger Muay Thai. And And ladies and gentlemen, away. our second fighter making his way to the, red corner. the, fighter from the red corner. He represents New Caledonia. Please welcome Jeremy PSM3. Oh, 
Fighter! Introducing these two Phoenix Warriors once again, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 24 years of age. He stands 175 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Chuck Eminence, Air Tiger Muay Thai. And standing across the ring in the red corner, this fighter is 24 years of age. He stands 182 centimeters tall. He represents New Caledonia. He is Jeremy PSM Fighter. So there you have it. It is Muay Thai rule. Okay, I think now we finally have the microphone set up. Well, I'm not sure if anyone heard us. Okay, uh, I, we may have missed everything we said at the beginning, but that's okay. The fight has not started yet. True. The action is yet to come. That is true. So just to recap what, what we're talking about. Good corner, we have Choke Eminent Air Tiger Muay Thai. Uh, that's a Nope the Garen's real name is actually Nopedon. He's 24 years old, 175 centimeters tall, 76 kilograms of weight. Start very young, and I'm going to say he's probably one of them with 178 fights. That's 128 wins, 45 losses, and five draws. He's also the Channel 7 champion at 145 pounds, as well as the 70 kilogram EFO tournament champion. That is true. He brings a lot of championship power and prowess into the ring. His opponent at the red corner, Jeremy PS Fighter, New Caledonia, is where he's from, 24 years old. Each match is correct, and he's actually taller by seven centimeters, which is a big difference. He's outweighing him by three kilograms, which again is a huge difference for the foreign fighter, but he only has 15 fights. He has 12 losses, excuse me, 12 wins, three losses, and three knockouts. So I think, John, the big thing here is the experience in the ring, is it not? I, I'd have to say so. Now, Jeremy has certainly got the size advantage on his side, but Joe is the one with the experience. Yes, it's going to be really interesting to see what comes out on top. But Jeremy has trained in Thailand. He has fought Thai people. He by far is not intimidated at all. Warrior in his own right, these modern day gladiators. So we will see if he's up for the test. But it's a big fight for him to choose, no doubt. Here we go. We're doing the Ram Moy, the, more, the uh, dance, the traditional dance. Now, John, I. I actually compare this dance to maybe even like the New Zealand haka, even though it's not so aggressive. As so though it's they're they're getting ready for war. This is an old ancient technique. Warming up, getting ready. They're blessing the ring. They're thanking their coaches. They're thanking Thailand. It's a very yep. beautiful yep. dance. I, I'd have to say there actually are similarities to the haka. Uh, what he's doing right now with this dance is he is honoring his coaches and the other fighters, and very importantly the stage itself and his mind he's getting his and, mind ready for oh, he's sir. definitely putting himself into a trance to get ready for this fight but also part of the waifu ceremony it's about showing respect to the spirits and boxers that have preceded him absolutely it's such a heritage it's such an amazing sport we love that phoenix is here we thank cha a an amazing man an amazing organization coming here and blessing oh, us boy is he put together an amazing card tonight it's absolutely i mean from top to bottom it is amazing we have three Phoenix titles on the line. We have a WBC title on the line. We have an IF, oh, excuse me, an IBF title on the line. 
The man's in the house. Yusuf Bogdan's in the house. Sex son is in the house. I mean, it's just insane the way that he put this card together. It's going to be nonstop it's action. Unbelievable. How, how many champions do we even have in the house tonight? Oh, many champions in the house, especially a few in the house. There we go. Let's take a look at the record real quick. Any discrepancies you see there? <laughs> yes, yeah. And how about the record discrepancy, huh? Here we go. We have five, three minute rounds, two minutes in between. Classic Muay Thai rule. The symphony of strike. The art of England. Oh. Great aggressiveness by the red corner. Jeremy, Jeremy coming out in full force, really quickly. Right at yes, the end of the fight. And John, you can see how big he is. Can't you? He is so much bigger than the entire opponent right now. He is using that size advantage to his benefit. There's no doubt about that. He's going to want to get an early win. If he can, even another KO. Because yep. as he gets worn out, the guy with the experience is going to start to have the advantage. Absolutely. He needs to take it to him. He needs to take it to him quick. Here we go. Ty clinch. Not much happening. Referee separates him. And aggressiveness again from Jeremy. In and out real quick. He doesn't want to get tagged by the Thai fighter. Choke has a lot of power in that body. Don't, don't get it twisted. And it's well known that Thai fighters like to use the first round to feel out their opponent, see what they're up against. I, I don't think that's happening, is it, right now, John? Look at, the, look at Jeremy. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Right, well, he's not giving Choke much of a choice in the matter, is he? He's got to come right back at him. Yeah. Right, then we see a defensive kick. That's a beautiful inside leg kick. Oh, wow. Beautiful by Choke to grab that rope. Great ring awareness there to not get the takedown. Takedowns are huge in Muay Thai rules. Could have lost his balance there. He knows what he's doing in the ring. Absolutely. Here we go. The referee sees not enough action. You saw Choke wrap his left leg around the right leg of his opponent. And he gave that great jab there by Choke on the inside. Here we go. Wow, they're making it a dirty dog fight right away, yeah. sir. He's inside both fighters. Now, Jeremy's using the legs a lot. He knows he's got the height advantage. Yeah. He keeps the other fighter away using his legs. And lots of power behind that. But Choke's still getting in there. Great outside leg kick digging into it. Choke, though, the defense. Got both hands up there. Yep. It's just, it's, it's really apparent how aggressive Jeremy is right now. I think he kind of nailed it on the head. I don't think he wants this to go three or four, even five rounds at all, John. No, I, and I can't blame him either. I want to go five rounds against someone with 178 fights on his belt. That was a great oh, wow, look at two kicks. Oh, now he's doing. Oh, I think he got, I think he got Choke a little bit upset. Yep. Choke is a professional. He's coming out of the MMA Air Gym. A lot of killers at that gym, and we know steel sharp and steel, John. Yeah, that kick there, that hit Choke on the chin a little bit. Choke has been woken up. He is, yeah. he is not going to hold back now. Jeremy does look like a superhero, though. He is jacked to the gills. Inside leg kick having some success there for Choke. Oh, beautiful one, two, digs to the body as well. Slap these inside, bullying his opponent against the ropes. Referee not letting them. Some more. excellent combination work by Jeremy right yeah, there. Really. Round one in the books. Once again, five, three minute rounds. We got two minutes break in between. Phoenix fight. Live from Qatar in beautiful paradise. The food in Thailand. The moment he got there. Oh, yeah. Now, who's that? A lot of people. If you've seen this, the name of the city written down before. It's spelled P-H-U-K-E-T. Many people think it's pronounced in a different way. But no, it is who can't say it. It's the P-H-U-K-E-T. And this is, in fact, one of the greatest cities in the world to, to fight. So many people train here. There are so many gyms, including some really big ones. It's a great place for fighters to train, and you're in the middle of paradise. The beaches are beautiful. Now, speaking of beaches, you know that New Caledonia, where I'm sure he gets some fighters from, that's actually an island in the Pacific. Uh, it was under French colonial rule, and uh, it's New Caledonia. Now, do you know where Old Caledonia is? No, no. Caledonia was the name for Scotland during the Roman Empire. Look at that. Look at that. right here. So the relationship between Scotland and New Caledonia, I have no idea. There must be some sort of relationship there. But yeah, Jeremy will be the first person I've ever met to walk through Caledonia. Met a lot of old Caledonians. He has always understand that they're saying, but they're very likely to walk through Thanks for watching. All the people on Facebook, on the fight app. Thanks.
Thanks for joining us. I mean, it's going to be a worldwide fight. I mean, this is going to be nonstop. Here we go. Both fighters off the chair. Got that bell. Couldn't be any longer, that bell. Here we go. Round two. Again, let's see if we're going to see a lot more aggressiveness from Jeremy, or is he going to take a, he's going to take a step back? Look at that. Choke is no longer just feeling the other guy out face. That's for sure. No, he, he can't right sit there and get, and get those combos ripped on him either. No way. Good job, everybody. Great right. footwork by Jeremy. Got right out of the way of that kick. Yeah, as a taller fighter, as a longer fighter, he's going to be able to have the distance work. That right hand is finding a home, though, for Jeremy. This, I think, is where Choke is going to win this fight, but the, the referee's not letting him really work from that clinch. If normally the guys get locked up like that, the guy with more experience knows Ooh. exactly how to work it. Absolutely. Hours and hours in the gym. He's right at home there. But, I mean, he's got a, a mountain in front of him, though. This guy's... Again, aggressiveness, prodding forward, choke on the back foot, trying to figure out this puzzle. That right hand got right through that guard, didn't it? Again, not much. You see that left leg being draped over the right leg of Jeremy. It looks like Choke doesn't want to clinch, not at this stage of the game. I think he's, he might just have to wear Jeremy out. Yeah, too. Oh, beautiful combination there. Falls it with a knee. Bullies him over the road, threatening to break it up. Heavy leg kick caught. Retaliation. That right hand again by Jeremy. Again! Here we go, gets locked up. Here the ref comes to break them up again. Choke is not going to be able to use that to his advantage. Yeah, I, I would like him to be able to have a few more moments to set something up in the clinch. Oh, 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 this referee's all over him right now. Touch of the gloves. Choke now, again, getting backed up. Jeremy's using the ring very well, cutting the ring off. Choke going oh. for the trip. Oh. Almost. 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 Great balance. What a big, big fight knee by Jeremy. PSM fighter. Aggression on a thousand, sir. This guy is just explosion after explosion. Can he keep it up, though? I think Johnny made a great point. I think there's no way he could keep that up for five rounds. He comes a marathon. Choke is going to have the advantage. There's a lot of muscle, a lot of energy used to, to work with that. But again, Choke right on, right on his back foot. Oh, beautiful left hand. He's going to kill John. But Choke... Ever Great ever. defensive posture by Choke. He knows exactly what Jeremy's trying to do, and, and he's not having it. Scared. Now Jeremy's starting to miss with that right hand. I wonder if Fatigue is playing a factor here. Coming to the end of round number two. That's it. Round two in the books. Choke, eminent air, tiger boy, tiger in the book. Jeremy, the SM fighter in the rest. First fight of this mega card that we have in the card. Okay. Did you notice there, right at the top, Choke gave Jeremy a little boost bump, but he tried to anyway. Jeremy just walked away. See, we thought Choke was going to wait it out, but I think we saw it here. He just got to get to Jeremy's head. Little fist bump, almost like the fight's over. Let's see what Choke does in the next round. If he can come out, it's the explosive block. Well, round two, round one of them. This is it. We're in the bottom. We're going to get the pace at this point. Right back, he's going to the power behind him.
well. You can see Jeremy's already starting to feel the strain on his muscles, and uh, Choke is acting like been there, done that. Cool, cool as a cucumber. Calm collected. Here we go, round number three. Again, classic Muay Thai rule, symphony of strikes, the art of eight limbs. Here we go, touch of the gloves. Big left kick there by Choke. Oh, big right hand. Got a lot of power. Elbow and diamond, elbow by Choke. Rip into the body. Now we got a dog fight. This is what Jeremy wanted. Oh, yeah. Let's see if Choke answers the question. He Let's took go. Choke a little bit by surprise with that first punch. The next time Choke was expecting it. Let's see what happens. Choke so vicious with that left kick. Now we see a number of times Jeremy's been fainting with the left and then going with the right. Yeah. I think Choke is catching on. He'll read that pretty soon. That right hand will find that body. Wow, again. Elbow inside too. Punishing blow. This guy is just so physically dominant. They had to give him an advantage size-wise because of the uh, experience-wise. Yeah. They had to make an even match. That's why you're seeing the size-wise. 15 fights versus 176. By far, that's why. There we go. Choke now, not working off the rope. Dig to the body. Another head hit followed by an elbow. Again and again. Pulleys him inside. Jeremy has not slowed down one bit yet. Not yet. Choke's open to wear him out. He's going to have to keep going. Left knee from the outside. Big knee. I, I wonder, I honestly wonder if the referee is breaking it up again to make it even. Because if he allowed it to go clinch Muay Thai style, Jeremy might be a, 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 a in deep water and not be able to swim. Great combination. Big pop from the crowd. Choke himself now starting to show some signs of fatigue. He's been taking a lot of damage, and I think that's what's been wearing on him for sure. Mouth open, though, for Jeremy. He is definitely tired. But he is ripping with ill intentions. A lot of venom on those punches. He may be tired, but that is not slowing him down. Except when the referee comes to break him up and pants a little bit before oh, he starts fighting. Oh, elbow missed by Choke. Coming to the end of the round, you hear that drum? That beat, beat, beat. Fatigue on both fighters. Right hand always finding a home for Jeremy. Still right in Choke's face. There's that right I talked about. Choke, world famous left kick. Body rip. And the referee in there, I'm going to say they're breaking it up early because of the uh, experience difference for sure. Wow, last the days to go kick. Big yeah. breath taken by Choke. He's taking a lot of damage in this fight. The monster prodding forward. Third round in the book. Oh, that was a three. I'm sorry, that was a three round fight. I apologize. That's a three round fight, not normal Muay Thai rules. Just got it in my ears from the technical team. I apologize for that. Three rounds in the book. Jeremy PSM fighter. Choke eminent air. Time or Tiger Boy Top. So that's the fight right there. And considering it was only three rounds, there's nothing more to go. I'm going to say I feel pretty comfortable in calling it for Jeremy right here. I don't think you're off by saying that at all. But how much the punches versus stick? See what the judges see. Let's take a look. Certainly nobody got knocked out, so it's gonna come down to points. That's right. But we're gonna go to the big guy. Jeremy just landed so many jabs straight to the face. Yeah. And that right hand is straight right is murder. Yeah. Mr. Grant is the waterman. This is the ring. The legend. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And your winner, from New Caledonia, Jeremy PSM Fighter! And there you have it, your winner on point, Jeremy PSM Fighter. Not a surprise at all, that guy is a powerhouse. He is still undefeated. He was probably hoping for another knockout, and he'll get back.
but oh boy, did he got some damage. Yeah, a lot of power behind those punches. Here we go, moving on to our next fight. I mean, he was just, maybe he was just too much, just too big. I know they tried to even it off as far as experience wise now. Yeah. That may have just been a moment, I don't know, if so even with his experience to the fire. Yeah, he is. Uh, even if it was his first fight, he's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. And from the fact that he won his first fight, we can see that's true. He, this guy has got to be the pride of New Caledonia. Moving on to our next contest, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome our first fighter making his way to the blue corner. He represents China, Zhu Ming Yan. fights on his record. Uh, 13 wins and two losses. And he is the IFMA champion and of China And please welcome our second fighter making his way to the red corner from France, Arthur Mayer Sinpatong! Ladies and gentlemen, this contest taller. will be fought yeah, in the we, Phoenix uh, under 60 bit, kilogram yeah. category. They're, they're way, Introducing these similar. two Sound Phoenix warriors once again. Here. The fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 21 years of age. He stands 175 centimeters tall. He represents China. He is Zhu Ming Yan. And standing across the ring in the red corner, this fighter is 27 years of age. He stands 170 centimeters tall. He represents France. He is Arthur Mayer Simpaton. Clearly, we have a lot of Arthur Mayer fans here tonight. We do a huge pop with the crowd, John. That is for sure. The crowd went wild at his name. Did you see that? Here we go. The wrong boy. Now the you might, war cry, sir. You might wonder, why does a French guy have a last name like Singh Patong? That is not French, is it? No, well, that's because he trains at the Singh Patong gym here in Thailand. And as is the tradition with Thai fighters, uh, they view their gym as like a family. So when you go out and fight, your gym's name becomes your last name. I love that, the tradition, like it just shows you how they're all in 100%. They love it, and uh, yeah, they take it. So basically back in the States, it'd be like Kobe Lakers rather than exactly. Kobe Bryant. Exactly, yep. Absolutely. Sink Baton, great gym, a lot of warriors there. This guy trains hard, he trains a lot of warriors. Steel sharp and steel, we know that. And the man from China. IFMA China champion back in 2006. He is a Muay Thai champion in his own right. So he's only got 15 fights under his belt, yeah. but you have to wonder yeah. if some of his fights in China are not included in that. Yeah, that's what you can see right there. Like John mentioned, the discrepancy as far as height, but the experience is by far going to Arthur, though. And oh, I, without question. I always say in Muay Thai, I know it's a big cliche, you never lose, you learn. He's had 14 incredibly heartbreaking learning experiences, and you know he gets better every time from that. So let's see what Arthur's gonna bring in the ring today. Here we go. I was told first fight was three rounds, but the next one now we will be five three minute rounds. We're gonna go classic Muay Thai. So that was a little bit of a special of an exhibition opening the fight up. Again, this is Phoenix Fight 7. 
live from Patong Beach, Phuket, Thailand, the Mecca of Muay Thai. Teddy Mulvey alongside John Sampson bringing you the commentary. Big kick by Arthur early. Inside leg kick. Now, we're going to have to assume that Arthur, having trained in Thailand, is probably more familiar with doing five rounds in Sao I mean, he would be doing five rounds, and, and I would assume that he'd be doing a lot more three rounds as far as kickboxing. I think you're right. Uh, but he has done five round fights himself, but in Thailand, you got the music playing. He's at home here, John. You're, you're right. He's at home. The system, the food, the culture. He probably speaks Thai. Wow, big left inside leg kick there. He's backing the Chinese fighter up. Zhao now trying to work off the back foot. Still very even at this point. Head kick, great head movement there by Arthur. Missed by just a centimeter there. All right. There we go. Classic Muay Thai. Maybe we're going to see that tentative round one and two that we talked about earlier, John. Now, that was an unusual combination from Zhao Ming right there. Fainting with the left jab and then going for the right kick. Beautiful, right? You got to mix it up. Oh! First knockdown. I think Zhao actually took that knockdown. I think he fell on his own, knowing that a big hit was coming. He may have just done that to avoid the punch. Arthur had his same center stage. But he would have lost points as a result. Great head movement by Arthur. He's in and out. Works that leg. Beautiful. Inside leg kick, outside leg kick. You can already see the redness. Now, Swelling on the leg, can you, John? Jeez. Now, Arthur's looking a lot more sure of himself. Zhao Ming still feeling somewhat timid, it looks like. Now, you'll notice the traditional armbands Arthur is wearing. Those are, again, unique to Thailand, so there's no question that he is very accustomed with the practices here. Oh, a little bit of a pop from the crowd on that unconventional kick. Wow, he's really reading that. Gets right out of the way on that long, looping combination. He goes right back to the leg. Ar Arthur attacking that lead leg. Sets his head up. Good defense. Arthur backing Zhao up to the ropes. Let's see if he works from this position. Right in striking distance. The Cobra now coiled up. Zhao doing his best head kick. Goes to the kill. Big knee done. Great knee up oh, combination. Zhao right. had nothing to do there but cover his face and hope to get out of that alive. He's going to be able to move the Kelly Kapowski. A little saved by the bell action. And Arthur is showing no signs of fatigue. Look at him sitting there. He's, he is pumped. He is ready to get right back up and fight some more. Great confidence as well. What a good round for him. Not a lover. Take a look at the action. Head kick. So yeah, he, he definitely fell down there. Yep. Not one to be strike. He's at the end, I think. Rips it up a cut over the top. Look at that. Beautiful work there by Arthur on one. Arthur just control. Just laying it on there. Combo punches and punches. See it from another angle. It looks even more fierce from this angle. You're right, John. I mean, Zhao can only cover up and wait for that bell. And what you see here is the uh, the coaches are attending to their fighters in the corner. Uh, the guys from from Singapore Gym are working very hard to make sure Arthur's got loose muscles going into the next round. But we see Zhao's trainer now doing the same. But Zhao is showing signs of exhaustion. We are not getting that from our oh, The crowd having a wonderful time there. That guy having made a little bit too much fun. Always, always a good time here in Thailand. Always fun. Coming to see the culture and the heritage of this point in time. Such a pride of Thailand, this, this sport. All right, here we go. Round number two. Five three-minute rounds, classic Muay Thai rules. Phoenix seven, second fight, nine fights on the card. Teddy Mulvane alongside John Sampson bringing the action. 
A lot of Arthur there. Let's see if we see yeah, what Zhao can do. I'm interested to see if Arthur is going to keep up his energy through this round. He was completely dominant in the first round. He seems to be a bit more measured right now. Maybe he's just waiting for his... Waiting for that moment right there. That's what he's waiting for. I mean, Zell, you know, Zell, really tentative. Got his defensive guard up. So Arthur's not going to force it. He's only get caught with a counter as he comes in. Big body with Arthur. Zell, great this there. He's getting a head kick in. And Arthur again, punishing that lead leg. Arthur is keeping himself well protected here. Zhao has hardly landed anything on him. And again, punishing the lead leg. Great body shot. Oh, big inside leg kick goes back to it, Zhao. Trying to retaliate for the French fighter. Great push kick there. He saw Arthur coming in. All right, Zhao getting a little loose now, John. Damaging the leg. Arthur the killer, he's gonna go for it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Zhao is not looking pretty right now. Zhao, the warrior spirit, look at that leg. He can't do it. Look at that leg. Wow. And here are the crown. TKO through the leg. Arthur Meyer, zip the top. Arthur Meyer, headshot, has a knockout score. With the TKO, the second round. Beautiful. 50 Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Arthur Meyer, Sing Patong! Now, Zhao Ming has clearly hurt his leg. What? from the front fighter. Relentless on that front leg kick. And then our Arthur is so happy to wait to his hundreds of fans here. He barely knows how he's in the ring. He's, he just ran over. He wanted to give the guy a hug. But all he could do at that point was wave goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest will be fought in the Phoenix under 73 kilogram category. Please welcome our first fighter making his way to the blue corner from Thailand, Jom Salad Jintar! Here we have Jom Salad Jintar. This guy is a youngin and only 19 years of age. Do you think he may be experienced? No, he's got eight fights on his record. No doubt he has been fighting since he was a child. He's 170 centimeters tall and 68 kilograms of weight. He's had 50 wins, 29 losses, and one draw. And when he was younger, he was the amateur Muay Thai champion. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent from Germany, Fabian Hoon! Introducing these two Phoenix Warriors once again, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 19 years of age. He stands 170 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Jom Salad Sinjur. And standing across the ring, this fighter is 21 years of age. He stands 188 centimeters tall. He represents Germany. He is Fabian Hood. 
Fabian Hunt in the red corner, the German. Jom Salad the Thai in the blue corner. Jom Salad, an up and comer. A lot of buzz around this kid. He's had a lot of a lot of wins recently. Yeah. He's been well, tearing through the scene for sure. And he's been doing it his his whole life. He was an amateur champion. Look at him. He's like a baby. Both these guys are very young. But don't let that fool you. Jom Salad has got a lot of experience. 188 centimeters. I don't know if Jom Salad has fought someone in that hall. It's, it's almost comical, the height difference here. I don't know if Domzalak can even reach Fabian's head. He does have a mountain to climb. Fabian, though, again, he's only had 14 wins versus 50. So, how much is it going to be size and how much is it going to be skill and experience? That's the question. Domzalak taking his time with the ROM. I'm very curious to see how he does his Lam Muay. Someone who's been involved in Muay Thai probably most of his life. There he is. Uh, perhaps uh, knowing that he's fighting a foreigner, maybe out of respect, he doesn't want to do too much dancing. Right, yeah. There's a lot of foreigners in the audience as well. 160 pounds. Fabian Hunt, Jom Salak. Round one coming at you. Round one of five. Muay Thai rules, of course. Elbow strikes, knees all legal. Clinch work legal. Last second instructions from the corners. Again, what a great show. What a great island. Phuket Island. Phoenix fight comes in. Mr. Cha A. World class professional. Beautiful, beautiful city. Love coming down here, John. Yep. After the fight tomorrow, hang out on a white sand beach. Go for a swim in the Andaman Sea. And there's the bell. 14 wins to 50 wins. 21 to 19. But there it is, the height. 188 to 170. Amazing discrepancy. Round one. I think that's where Jump Salad's going to have a lot of success is hitting that leg kick. Yeah, and he knows he's got a disadvantage in terms of height. He came right in there with that leg kick. He knows what his goals are in this fight. Let's see if they change. So fast off that right leg. Left leg now comes up top. David against Goliath. Germany against Thailand. Live from Bouquet. Jump Salad to get in through the reach. Fabian is so long. Jumps a lot, staying aggressive, keeping the German at distance. That almost threw Fabian off balance right there. Great counter, left kick, and Fabian came in with a one-two. Oh, beautiful teeth kick. Jones Lott is working the legs big time here. Side leg kick now from the big fella. Goes up top. Retaliation by Jones Lott. Working his way inside. Beautiful combination. Up top finishes it with an outside leg kick. In and out is maybe what he's going to want to do. Huge heavy kicks now coming from the German. Oh, baby, in the aggressor now. Ties him up round one. Referee says no. Right in there. Referee is not having any of that. Baby, I'm working the legs. Good push kick there by John Salah. Doubles up on the jab over the top by the jump. Backing his opponent up. Catches him again. Bobby Rick. Cheeky knees inside. You see Jump Salah get that low body clinch. Wants no more clinch work there. Separation now, center stage. Great body rip, face up top. He's going to have to get very creative. You know what, take down this mount. Look how long that jab is, baby. There's no way to stay away from that guy. 
But Joe Salat, it seems, is finding a way. He still manages to land a punch there. The 19-year-old is so intelligent. Oh, goes up top. That was a fancy move. If only he had landed it. Moment. Elbow inside now. Low body lock with the hidden down there for you to break it up. Now, physically, there's no question the advantage goes to Baby. But Joe Salat knows what he's doing here. Round one in the book. The German Fabian, Ty Jonsalat. I am very impressed with the way Jonsalat here came to that round. That was quite something. I, I'd say right now it, it looks like the point is maybe going to Jonsalat despite Fabian's huge size of it. Look at the work right here. Body rip. The aggressiveness there. Two, three. Rips that body leg. Gets a lot of torque and power on that. The young 19 year old time. And he shifts so effortlessly from defense to offense. It's really something to watch. He's got that low body lock. He's going to want to click. He's going to want to get to a quick board of it early. On and collective in the corner. So calm. Fabian not looking happy, of course. I don't think he ever looks happy. Very serious in the ring. A warrior that's trying to take that out of here, absolutely. Not funny games right now for him. He's trying to go in there, he's trying to show the legacy. 21 years old, he's a bright future, but there's the kid right now. Now, yeah, boy, all eyes on jumps a lot. Now, I'm not the greatest lip reader, but I can see jumps a lot right now for the same first trainer. Hop, hop. So, he had some great technique in the first round, but here's the trainers are freaking out what he needs to do. He's taking it in, okay. and yes, sir. And let's see what changes he makes in this next round. He's absolutely a sponge. What a great student. Talked to his trainers before. They actually love training him. Everything they tell him he does, he learns it so quick. He's such a sharp, sharp young man. Here we go, round number two. Five three-minute rounds, Muay Thai rule. All right, Katie is backing him up against the corner now. Against the ropes, excuse me. Heavy kick, against the back by Jump the lock. Jumps a lot, intelligently moves away from the ropes. He does not want to get caught in a corner with a mountain that's baby. Back against the ropes. Step in knee, beautiful work. Look at that, he timed that perfectly. He's going for a takedown with that body lock. Referee didn't let him work though. But yeah, you try to throw a guy that much taller than you, you're gonna have some trouble. I think what he's gonna do is try and get under his uh, center of balance, pull his hip, hips into him and drive his head. Try and take him right down to his back. God, he's just so much taller than him. It's insane, 18 centimeters. Heavy leg kick by John Salah. Again, prodding forward the jerk. So difficult for John Salah to get in there where he can actually reach baby. Playing twerk here round yeah. two. This is what you typically see in every Muay Thai play, but no, the referee doesn't want to let one fighter take the advantage in that lock up there. He's breaking it up. And there wasn't much action going on there. Oh, maybe he caught it. Big right hand. Great footwork and hit movement by the Thai fighter. Flash right there. Both had the same idea. Great step in. And look at him, he's gonna try and dump him. Could not get it. Another step in deep. Murdering of okay. that side of Baby. He jumps in there and hits, hits Baby with the knee before Baby even know what's coming. No, no doubt we're gonna see that move from Jones a lot again. Absolutely. Referee not happy with that one. 
Separates both fighters. Here we go. Fabian having a lot of success catching that kick. Backing him against the corner. Is he going to go to work? Final 10 seconds of the round. Oh, goes for a takedown. Oh. And oh, and he's got it. That's what that, that body lock was going to initiate with that beautiful takedown. Drove through his opponent. They score so high in the eyes of the judges. Big step up in the day. How does this guy manage to strike first against a guy of that size? Yeah, beautiful, right? So intelligent. Such a good team. Round two. I, I think there's just no question at this point that Dome's lot has got to be leading Fabian on points right now. We have seen some amazing moves from this guy. I, I can't even imagine how he gets in so close to punch a guy that far. But boy, the best There we go. Hold Oh, no. First time he went for the takedown, didn't get it. He got me in there. He stepped inside me. But the second time, he got that takedown. That's what he was looking for. There's no question, Fabian. He's got to be a bit phased right now. I don't think he expects to be taken, taken down by a guy that much smaller than him. Great combos by both fighters. Fabian, though, very relaxed. There's no looking for urgency at all. No one's there for him. Those belt ring sides on. Phoenix belt, of course. Beautiful emerald and W. And then the eye and that basic idea. Use the focus in the house. Stay tuned. We're just in fight three. Not a basic fight for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And we're keeping up with the moment of John Simpson. Ron. Phuket, Thailand. Here we go. There's that bell. Could it be any longer or louder? And speaking of last and long, I think these guys may be ready to go the distance. All right, round three. Aggressiveness now. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. One elbow. Step in elbow. Over the top. Standing eight count. I don't know if he can do it. Well, he would have kill. Fabian. Wow, jumps a lot. Hurt. Look at that. It's just trainer much as he told him. Use your size advantage. What a vicious elbow. Jumps a lot now. A lot of oh. There he goes again. Same spot. Same spot. Right back up. But you can see it yep, is affecting yep, yep. him. Same spot. The power from the, from the German fighter. will be fought in the Phoenix 80 kilogram division. Please welcome the first fighter making his way to the blue corner from the United States of America, Jacob Thomas Ginter Sigmund Chai! Okay, again, American training in Thailand, Sigmund Chai Jim, 27 years old, 189 centimeters. 
like to be in his car. So he's a bit over six feet tall, 77 kilograms, and uh, he's had a record of 18 fights. Nine wins, seven losses, and one draw. And our second fighter making his way to the red corner from Brazil, Carlos Prates! Introducing these two Phoenix Warriors once again, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 27 years of age. He stands 188 centimeters tall. He represents the United States of America. He is Jacob Thomas Guitar Sigmatai. And standing across the ring in the red corner, this fighter is 26 years of age. He stands 187 centimeters tall. He represents Brazil. He is Carlos Prates. We don't have the height for Carlos, but looking at them in the ring right now, the American would be taller than Carlos by, say, a few centimeters for sure. Not a big difference, not a big discrepancy. Slightly taller, the American. No, I think I may have made a little mistake here when I said Carlos was from Italy. Carlos is definitely a much more Brazilian-sounding name. But uh, I know in our next fight, we have a fighter from Brazil. Sit Montai Jim, the American fighter. Yeah, Sit Montai Jim, very famous. Murderer at row there. He has a big team behind him. And a lot of times, John, people think that this is an individual sport. And you know what? I don't, I don't think it is. I mean, you are alone in the ring, but you're with your trainers. You have your fans. You have your training partners. Yeah, you have it to really work is a team. Out. Like you said before, yeah. it's a family. It's you're, not you're, an individual sport. You're fighting sport. every day with those guys on your Absolutely. team. They, they're the ones who help you get better. So what gym you train at is very important for how good of a fighter you're going to be. And uh, Sit Mong Chai. Very much up there, very famous gym. But, I mean, what I was gonna say before the great Grant Waterman was doing the introductions, nine wins, seven losses, 64 wins, six losses. That is insane, that is. Oh, and they have just confirmed with me that, um, yeah. yes, Carlos is in fact from Italy. Oh, yeah, I got it right the first time. All right, there we go. All right, both fighters, both big boys right now, 176 pounds. Tall and long. Five three minute rounds. This is Phoenix Fight 7, live from Phuket, Thailand. Teddy Mulvey, alongside John Sampson, bringing you the action. Thanks for joining us, Facebook. Thanks for joining us on the app as well. Fighters now judging distance. Trying to find a kink in the other's armor. Heavy leg kick checked by Carlo. Going about 70% now on these kicks. Trying to read each other. Both trying to get their best poker fit. Jacob coming out a little more aggressive than Carlos is. Yeah. Bit of a heavier kick now. Carlos eats it. Still walking forward. Oh, that got through. That left got through. There's a lot of pop on that as well. Big right hand, left hand, excuse me. Both fighters in the southpaw position. Now they're going to start brawling. Here we go. Teeth kick by Jacob. Working off that jab. Checked by Carlos. Really reading that left kick. Vicious left kick by himself. Caught it, what's he gonna do? Got through the guard. Carlos with that left kick, very beautiful. 
Carlos has a lot of power in his punches, a lot of power in his kicks. Big body win. Jacob came out very aggressive. He's not been able to land a lot. Jacob just kind of patty pat right now. He's just about 70%. Carlos a lot more pop on his punches, for sure. Just round one. Big step up knee. Now Jacob's getting a little bit more aggressive. He's felt the power of Carlos. Oh, beautiful teeth kick right there by Carlos. Oh, left hand, good counter. Wow, Carlos' defense is looking lovely. Checking those kicks. Counter jab. Beautiful. Great combination. Right, left, over the top, teeth kick. Got a great way he wants him here in round one. And then he slows it down. I like the methodical, calculating Carlos here. Jacob staying active, initiates the clinch. Knee for knee, both fighters trading, separate on their own. Again, you can tell Jacob is not 100% as far as power-wise. Round one in the book. So far, it seems like a pretty even matchup here. Carlos is coming on as more of a powerhouse, but Jacob seems just holding back a little. It's Let's see when he comes out in full force in the next round, what he's going to do. He's, he's playing at the classic time, reading his opponent. You look here. Yep. Now, now, you keep mentioning a move, a teeth kick. For our viewers in, in the Middle East or Europe who are watching this, many people don't know, teeth kick is a term exclusive to Muay Thai. Yeah. Now, uh, what exactly is that, Teddy? It's a push kick, but what he's most famous for is the movie 300. This is Sparta, and he keeps hitting the guy right in the That's the kick, isn't it? That's it, that's it right there. Now, the reason why I love that kick is not me being the defensive kick. If I see you moving your legs and kicking me, I can kick your top. I can put you away and get more room. Or yep. I can start to kick you in the face and knock you out. I really love that kick. You can knock someone over with an arm, just shoot the ball of your foot, just gently push them away even. It's basically the jab kick. Use this jab a lot, taking positions. I love it, I love it. Now, Jacob, you see here, not showing signs of fatigue at all. I think it's safe to say that he was holding back in that first round. Trying to read his opponent. Of course, Carlos, a lot more aggressive. All right, round number two coming at you hot. Jacob Thomas Ginter, Sit Mong Chai Jin, USA. In the blue, Carlos Cortez from Italy. In the red, round two. More aggressiveness here from Jacob. Excellent counter knee by Carlos. They get tangled up in the corner, referee sees enough. Again, great defense by Carlos. Oh, a heavy outside leg kick. Big knees by Jacob. Locked up there, referee waited to see if there was any action going on before breaking them up. Great uppercut. Again, though, not much pop on those punches, though, John. A lot more aggressiveness here. Backy Carlos into the corner. Carlos with it over the top right. Carlos, so intelligent to get out of that corner. Right when Jacob almost trapped him. Punishing that leg. The welts. The welts you can see. On Jacob's right side are Thunder. Just look at him. We thought he was a white guy. No, he's red. He's red there. Here we go. Let's see some clinch work. Great knee by Carlos. They separate on their own. Huge body rip. Goes up top. Oh! What a knee! Can he what come back knee. from that? What a kidney shot. Oh, no. 
Eight count down. Oh, wow. He is an excruciating pain right there. Wow. The sniper. Carlos Protez from Italy. Snipes him with a beautiful knee inside. That was the same side that was red. That's the same side you detected. Yeah, he'd been taking round. punishment there yeah, all, all through the fight. Body kick. And that knee, my lord. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, your winner from Brazil, Carlos Prates. Carlos's record now goes up to 65 and 6. That is one impressive record. Yeah, what a killer. And this guy, he he knows this sport inside and out. He he was not taken by surprise even once during that fight. Cool, calculated kill. Carlos Cortez, congratulations. Now, up next, we have the fighter I mentioned from Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next contest. This fight will be fought for the Phoenix World Title. Please welcome our first challenger making his way to the blue corner from Brazil, Lobo Buquet Fight Club. Okay, Lobo here, currently holding the Phoenix World Championship. This is the first World Championship we're seeing up for grabs tonight. This, in, in any other fight, this, this would be the main event. But the fights we have for you tonight, it, it just blows my mind how many amazing fighters we have here. This guy, Lobo, he's one of the top four in Muay Thai fighters right now in his weight class. Uh, he's made some really big strides and in the sport here in Thailand. And ladies and gentlemen, our second challenger making his way to the red corner from Thailand, Taksila Cho Hapaya! But the opponent from Thailand, Taksila, 174 centimeters, giving up a little bit tight. 67 kg, but most importantly, two. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing these two Phoenix World Class Champion challengers once again. The fighter stand in the blue corner. He is 25 years of age. He stands 180 centimeters tall. He represents Brazil. He is Lobo Phuket Fight Club. And standing across the ring in the red corner, this fighter is 25 years of age. He stands 174 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Taksila Cho Hapaya. Now Taksila, he's a well-known fighter here, Absolutely. but Lobo has already gone up against some of the great Thai Muay Thai fighters, and he's won some of those, so Taksila knows that he is in for a challenge. And, and also, Taxila's 200 fight record. I mean, how is that even possible? I haven't even had 200 arguments with my girlfriend. <laughs> this guy has had 200 fights already. What happened? When did he start? In the womb? They start fighting at about nine years old. Professionally, real, top professional, 15. You can finally get your card. You can finally be real professional at 15. And then they fight once a month. It's a given once a month. Now, once a month for 10 years, or if they get a knockout, if they get a, uh, an easy win, they will fight two, maybe three times. Now, in he's the month. only 25 only years 25. old. So he's done, unless he literally started in the womb, he's been doing more than one fight a month. Oh, for sure he has been. And for 10 solid years. He did not go pro at 18. Yeah. He went pro at 15 years old, for sure. So from 15 to 25 in just 10 years, 200 fights, that's amazing. And you know, a lot of people don't really think about how much time it takes to recover after a fight. Oh. This is not something you can no. do every day. And there's no off season. This isn't like basketball or football. You are 24 seven all the time, ready to take the call. But this is their, this is his legacy. This is his life. This is his everything. He loves being in the ring. Wouldn't want to be any other place. 
Once again, Tak Silla from Thailand in the red. For the Brazilian Lobo in the blue. 140 pounds. This is Phoenix Fight 7 live from Phuket, Thailand. Teddy Move alongside John Samson. Proud to be able to give you the sensational, sensational strike stories that we have here. Muay Thai in the Mecca of Muay Thai, Thailand. Now, right now, we've got the Phoenix World Championship belt that up for it. grabs. We got the uh, belt, This baby. is, however, not Lobo's first championship that he's had. No, it is not. No, he has been the Andaman Tournament Champion, as well as the four-man fighter tournament champion. Well, here we go. Round one, five three-minute rounds, full Muay Thai rule. Lobo taking center stage. Now you see, Toxila hiked up that left leg short. What that means is the gun is locked and loaded. He is ready and willing to unleash that weapon whenever he needs to. That is a, that is a signal to his opponent. We can be expecting some kicks from him any moment. Oh. Here we go, tentative round one. No one wants to show their poker face. No one wants to get caught. Slight adjustment there in the red corner. But we have to say, I mean, 200 fights is, is an amazing, almost unbelievable. But I, I think you should get an award just for that. But at 25 years old, Lobo has 45 fights, which is a lot for himself. Oh, that is nothing that's to sneer at, no. No, that's a lot. He is, he's very experienced. Champion in his own right, as John said. Great defensive kick there by Lobo. Toxilla happy to be circling the ring. And there's that teep kick, that push kick. Oh, beautiful oh. takedown. He did hit him in the head on the way down, but the kick was already initiated, so it does not take away points. It's unintentional, and he apologized for it. Great sportsmanship. But as long as he was in the kick before he hit the ground, which he was, it's all good. Beautiful takedown, though, by Taksila. Taksila inching his way in. Great check there by Lobo. Lobo now, beautiful big right hand. Good head movement by the Thai fighter. Back against the ropes though. Lobo now about to strike, good catch. Great head movement by Toxila. Just ducks under that amazing scud missile by the Brazilian. Here we go. Round one, five, three minute rounds. This is fight five. We have nine fights on this Phoenix 7 card. Stay tuned, many belts coming up, but right now, 140 pound world phoenix title there we see that push kick push tuxila all the way against the roast there so aggressive so strong this brazilian isn't he all right here we go brazilian dictating where this fight goes great aggression there by the tie fighter just at the end one round in the books these Beautiful. guys are just getting started. Great defense by the Brazilian fighter. The Thai fighter, amazing head movement. And here we see Mr. Chahe, the president right. of Phoenix Championship Fighting. I can't lip read. I don't know what he's saying, but certainly thinks a lot of that gentleman sitting next to him. Just going to replay right there. Yep. yep. That kick hit him right in the head. It, yeah. it, it's not a lot of power behind it, but still, that's not something you want to do. But no point taken away as long as the kick was already in motion, which it was. Round two coming up now. Of course, Mr. Chae, thank you so much. Great Phoenix fight. Always an amazing show here in Thailand. We'll be back here in May as well for Phoenix 8. Back here in Thailand, can't wait for that card, but right now, the all-important Phoenix world title is on the line. And of course, the champ is here, Yusuf Bogan in the house. You can feel the buzz when someone like that's here, when you see a real legend in the house.
There's just a different aura, different feel to it. We are a lot of champs in the house. Five belts on the line. Yeah, we're, we've got a fight card tonight full of champions, but Yusuf, the man of the hour, uh, currently absolutely. considered one of the greatest fighters in his weight class in the world. So far, absolutely. He's on his way to be the, to be the GOAT. All right, round two. Taxila Chor Hapayak in the red. Lobo Elite Fight Club in the blue. Thailand versus Brazil. Here we go. The defensive move right there by the Brazilian as well. Heavy, heavy left kick by the top. Taxila, heavy kick. Big body rip, Lobo. Now Taxila is on the ropes. Intelligently, intelligently loops away. Lobo, look for him to try and cut the ring off again. Inside leg kick off that break. So fast, so vicious, Taxila with those leg kicks, but Lobo backing him against the ropes again, waiting to strike. Great defense, great defense by Taxila there. And now he's right back where he wants to be. Lobo now needs to reestablish and push the tie back against the ropes. There he is. It's almost there, but Taxila so intelligent. Wow. That torque and power. Wow. Lobo still taking his time, but throwing in a good kick there when he needs it. Now a lot more activity now from Taxala. It's only round two, though. He will wait until the money rounds, three and four, before he really picks it up. Big elbow over the top. Wow. And now in the clinch, but no action, neither fighter. Deciding to clinch. Not yet. Back center state. Oh, he goes for the trip. Can't get it. Big body rip by Lobo. Great push kick. Lots of kicks here back and forth. This has been almost an exclusively lower body fight up to this point. But if you can hurt the other guy's legs, that's your most powerful weapon in this sport. Oh, big elbow. Oh. Caught him slightly on the head. Look at the poise. Lobo starting to mix it up a bit. I think we're going to be seeing that elbow again. Certainly took Taxila by surprise each time he threw that elbow. Yes, sir. No urgency, though, from the TIE fighter. Oh, ho, ho. Attempts an elbow of his own. Only hits there, though. Big whiff. And there you go. Round two in the books. Lobo pressing the action. Taxila, great counter. See, we see a significant strike there on the replay. What an elbow. Now, Lobo seems very confident right there that he's leading on points. So at this, at this moment, he has no reason to charge blindly into anything. There's that nice snap kick. That leg kick there, that elbow, just great hip movement there, just out of range. There's a the corner. Corner of Lobo. Asking for the clinch. Corner of Tatsala. Lobo's. Lobo's trainer is looking very animated, pointing out to him what to do. But in the contract, the red corner, very calm, very collective. Remember, 200 in the first time, except in the frame. No problem. The money rounds are coming up. Always plastic more tie around one and two. Read your opponent. Feel your opponent out. Round three, apply the information that you download. And I think that's what the veteran Talk to what going to do. We're going to see a much different fighter here in round three. Let's see how Lobo handles it. And if he can adapt as well. 
Lobo also very experienced, but but not like Taxila. So Lobo's coming out thinking he knows what to expect, but we're gonna see if Taxila has any surprises in store for him. There's the bell. Cornerman out. Round three. Both fighters standing right in the pocket right now. Striking distance. Great left hand by Taxala. Heavy leg kick caught. Lobo with the elbow. Goes for a trip. Can't get it. All right, here we go. Dirty boxing or clean Muay Thai, as we call it in the kingdom. Good takedown there. Bully takedown right there by Taxalam. That was a really nice knee he got in there before being taken down, though. Nice push kick there from Lobo. Working the jab and the cross punch before getting locked up again. Here we have more knees. They're just going to keep throwing those. That's what the referee is looking for. If they're not throwing those knees, if there's no action in that lockup, the referee is going to break them up. Oh, don't want them to fall outside of the ring, though. Referee had to step in. Some good action there, though, from both fighters. All right, here we go. Toxala taking center stage now, pushing the Brazilian against the ropes. Different than what we saw in round one and two. I told you, this is the first of the money rounds. Lobo using that push kick to perfection. Great jab work there. Steps away. Heavy leg kick. Lobo tries to catch it. Look at that teeth kick, though. Keeps Lobo at bay. Now tucks her up, back against the rope. Lobo goes to work. Nice two, three. Goes for an uppercut, big right hand over the top. Wrapped up now by the Thai fighter. Elbow, uh, excuse me, knee inside. Some great punches landed right there by Lobo. Paxila did not see them coming. Look at that. Beautiful work. Neither fighter trying to engage in the clinch. Referee notices it and separates. There's that world famous heavy leg kick. Taxila finding a home for it here in round three. Coming to the final moments now of round number three. There it is again, left kick. Oh, beautiful right hand over the top. Counter right hand as Taxala goes in. No knees so far. Drapes the shin across the midsection to negate any of these strikes. Round three in the books. Just want to tell the fans at home listening on, um, on, uh, on the app and also on Facebook Live, we apologize that we don't have the time. I'll be keeping the time now. I'll be telling you how much time is left in each round. Good slap knee right there by the Brazilian for that. Semi takedown by Toxala. That right hand though by Lobo, vicious. He's been finding a great home for that. He's had some nice jabs yes, with his yes. left as well. And the outside cross punch with the right hand. That's it's right. a great combination there. There's our beautiful fans here in the paradise known as Phuket Island in beautiful Thailand, the Mecca of Muay Thai, no better place to watch the fight. And you can tell by the hairdo that these women are not from here because locals don't do that. But vacation spots everywhere in the world, you can get beach in your hair. Yes, Phuket is one of those, but yes, there's so is. much more to offer than just that, isn't there? There it is. International fans, international crowd, loving it here, Phoenix Fight. Best in the world for Muay Thai. Thanks to Chop A for putting on what a show. Professionalism personified. Teddy Mobe alongside John Sampson giving you 
the commentary and the play-by-play. -play. What a fight we've had tonight. Don't forget, this is for the Phoenix World Title, 140 pounds. Tansala Chor Kataya in the red. Lobo Elite Fight Club in the blue. Brazil versus Thailand with the Phoenix Fight belt on the Now that's the 140 pound category for the Phoenix World Title. Would you believe we have three Phoenix World Titles plus up for grabs tonight? WBC plus IBF. Get out of here, John Simpson. It's not. Oh, it's I am, not, I am not staying for the main event. I am not going anywhere, Teddy. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I am now. Look at this. These guys are going at it. Uh, what happened before was just a warm up. Paxila wants. Oh, that's that heavy right kick he that we know love. He wants it bad right now. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Round number four. Now they're going to start clinching. Now they're going to make it a dog fight. Title belt on the line. All the marbles. Oh, this is so grueling. Grappling right now, taking each other in the deep waters. Referee has seen enough. Was that a headlock I just saw? Yeah. That must have been an accident. Not since my days wrestling have I seen one of those moves. Big kick just missed. Talks a lot great distance right now. Good inside leg kick initiates the clinch. Can he work from this position? There's the knees. Great spin by Lobo. Back against his ropes, the tie fighter. Great right hand. Oh, he's going for the takedown. Is he going to get it? And he there does we get go. It. That low body lock, pull him up, drive through. We saw that earlier. Beautiful takedown. Minute 20 left. Minute 20 left, round number well, four. Lobo's doing a great job with the deep kicks, keeping his opponent yeah. up against the ropes and backing up all the time. Again, Lobo controlling the ring. Goes for the trip, can't get it. Beautiful balance by the TIE fighter. Taxila, the legend. Actually, he's just, he just won't be dominated no matter what Lobo does. Oh, look Lobo at that. Inside, just a glancing elbow. Taxila going for the kill. Less than a minute. Oh, left. again. Again. Another takedown by Taxila. They score so high in the eyes of the judges. 40 Look seconds those. left. Look at those knees back and forth before the ref breaks them up. Yeah, peppering each other now. A lot of aggression now from these fighters. Great jab by Lobo. Talks a lot of that heavy, heavy kick. There it is again. Lobo retaliates. Elbow over the top. Oh. Missed. Elbow by Lobo missed. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the round. 20 seconds left. See if we can score any big points before the round's over on either side. Oh, big knee, crowd pops with every hit. Final seconds. Again, another takedown by Toxila. Throw down by Toxila. This guy has a center of gravity like no other fighter we've seen tonight. Look at that. He's going for another one right now. Round's coming oh, up in. and he's got it. By my clock, three minutes is already up. I'm not sure how long this round is going, folks. I apologize. There it is. There we go. I think your clock was about 10 seconds fast there, Teddy. 10 seconds too fast right there. That's what it is. There we go. Oh, wow. wow. Low blow at the end, John. In the last 30 seconds of that round, Hoxilla managed to score two takedowns. Huge in the eyes of the judges, though, no score. Absolutely. No question about it. L Lobo has been so dominant. Just keeping his opponent where he wanted him, but Paxilo was not giving in. No, he was not. And sure. he found out where his advantage was, and then he went straight for it. Yes, in the next round, Lobo's going to be expecting the takedown. He might be avoiding the lockup. He might not want to get into that clinch anymore if that's what Taxila is going to be doing to him. I think Lobo may be chasing it now. He may, have, he may need this round to take over. Take a look at this. Drive through it. How strong. Toxic for his size, he's a small fighter, but look at that. 
throws him like a rag. And his, his use of his center of gravity and balance is just phenomenal. Lobo finding success in his kick. But you don't go through 200 fights without learning some special talents, do you? Absolutely, John. So, Lobo, an amazing fighter, but he's, he's met his match. It's, it's going to come down to the last round here. Beautiful matchmaking. We've seen a lot of knockouts. Fights in early. This one going the distance for the title belt. Hey, we still could have a knockout in the fifth round, but... But these guys, they are a couple of powerhouses. Not going down easy. Lobo already off the stool. Toxila as well. Final moments with the coach. Phoenix fight seven. Phoenix world title, 140 pounds on the line. John Sampson, Teddy Mulvey bringing you the play-by-play. -play. Here we go now with the fifth and final round. Lobo versus Taxila. Somebody's gonna have to do something to clench it, and soon. You can see the, these guys have so much respect for each other. All right. But if that stops when the bell rings. Big right hand by Lobo. Slap knees, two, three unanswered, four unanswered now. You see the aggression now from Lobo. He may be chasing. Those takedowns score huge in the eyes of the judges. Lobo, maybe the aggressor. Look for an elbow, thought better. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Round number five before someone is crowned. Mm. Taxilo's going for another takedown there, but the exhaustion is getting to him. Right. Goes for the trip, could Lobo coming in big and strong with knees, kicks, and elbows all at once. Yeah. Lobo with a huge elbow. Talks to a takedown, couldn't get it. Beautiful work, both fighters. 140 pounds, Phoenix World Tighter Belt on the line. Now, you, you see, the, these guys have to be exhausted. And for Lobo to turn it up a notch the way he just did, that's one of the reasons he's a champion. Absolutely. Of course, it's still anybody's fight right now. A minute 40 left, round five before someone tastes that gold around their waist. Great straight right hand. Laughed off by the top fighter, but he knows that stuff. Another right hand by the Brazilian. He's gonna start pointing out, body rip, uppercut. Crowd now, popping with every shot, enjoying now, this fight. What, what you saw just there is something you will only see from a Thai fighter. Taxila takes a right hand to the face and he smiles. Laughs about it, laughs it off. Taxila now, dude, there's that teeth kick, that beautiful push kick. He's gonna play off that jab. Taxila wants no more engagement. He believes he's up on the card. He's happy, his hands are down. He believes he's winning this fight. Great uppercut! Uh-oh, there's that drop. Nice jab there from Taxila. 45 seconds left. Spinning oh. elbow. Oh! Oh! Spinning elbow. Some Lobo fancy not, moves there from each of them. Lobo does not like the disrespect right now from the Thai fighter. He's dancing around, he's laughing, he's having fun. Lobo does not appreciate it at all. Final second. Let's Here see if go. Taxila goes for another takedown. I don't think he's trying final, for it. Final he just wants seconds. to go the distance. Final, final moments. You hear that drum? You hear that beat? Wow. This is so close. We're going to have to see what the judges wow. say. Both fighters seem pretty confident in their showing. Lobo, you see there, goes to his opponent's trainers before his own. Uh, the, these fighters just have a great amount of respect for each other and each other's gyms. 
absolutely complete professionalism for both fighters. Fighters, excuse me. Taksila Chor, Hapayak in the red corner from Thailand. Lobo Elite Fight Club from Brazil in the blue. 140 pound strap let's, on the line. Judging scorecard for this. Let's Just see who the corner. decision goes to. It's a close one. Ladies that's for and sure. gentlemen, presenting the championship belt for this contest is the president of Phoenix Fighting Championship, Mr. Shahei Yerevenian. And after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And all three judges have our winner and new Phoenix under 64 kilogram world champion, Taksala Chor Hapaya! It's a new world champion, ladies and gentlemen. This is incredible. It's got to be those takedowns that put him over the top in that fight. The takedown, the solid head kick, absolutely. He punished the main section. Beautiful takedown, beautiful reach control. Congratulations, Tatsila, Torres, Hapayak. The new 145, 140 pounds. And this, my friends, is why he smiles when he gets punched in the face. Because he don't care. He knows he's got a championship belt coming his way. Congratulations. What a war. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're coming at you hot. Amazing fighting there by Taxila. 200 fights. Finally, he is a champion. You, you got to feel proud for a guy that has put in that much work. We over move the on, ladies and gentlemen, to, to another Phoenix Absolutely. World Title Contest fought at under 68 kilograms. Please welcome the first challenger making his way to the blue corner from Thailand, Pech Morakot to War Sang Prapai! Here we got Petra Morgo War Sang Prapai. This guy, this guy, and please 24 welcome years our second old. challenger making his way to the red corner from France, Mohamed Swan. Now, Mohamed Swan, the man from Britain, 23 years old, 183 years, 70 kg. 45, 33 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. He is the Phoenix Fighting Champion. He won it back at Phoenix 5 in Bangkok in Rakhidamna Stadium. And wow, did he win with devastating fashion. This man is a stone cold killer. He looks like he's chiseled out of grain. A green guy. He acts that way as well. Heavy, heavy punches. Now, absolute murder. Now, introducing both of these, these guys two are Phoenix champions. World title challengers once again. Standing in the blue corner, this fighter is 24 years of age. He stands 180 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Pech Morakot War Sang Prapai. Again, we've got another and fighter here with a ton of fights, 197 fights. 23 My years God. of age. He stands 183 centimeters tall. He represents France. He is Mohamed Swan. Now, Pet Morricot, or um, some of his friends call him Pet. Uh, he's 180 centimeters tall. He's got he's got a few centimeters shorter than his opponent yeah, from France. Just a few, not a big difference. Uh, the weight difference, just one kilo, not a huge difference. Huge, huge amount of experience, though. 197 fights. And he has a number of championships. Tell us what they are, John. Oh, wow. Uh, well, he's been fighting a long time. He's got champions. He was the Lumpini champion. Lumpini, that's that's one of the most famous Matt, Muay Thai boxing guard. stadiums yep. in the world. Absolutely. He was a Lumpinian champion at 105 pounds. And again later, when he was a bit older, at 133 pounds. He was the WBC champion at 154 pounds. 
He's actually lost weight since then. He's now in the 149 pounds category. It's very rare we see guys go from champion to losing weight in a fight at a lower right. weight class. And he was also the Thai champion at 122 pounds and 140 pounds. I mean, just accolades for days for this guy. Pep Maracourt, a warrior, modern day gladiator, one of the most famous fighters here in the kingdom. Prize possession here in Thailand. Now, Pet here, or Pet Morico, he is a notorious lefty. His left side is dominant and brutal. He's especially known for his knees and kicks, especially from that left side. There's the tail of the tape, 23, 24 years old. Just a small height advantage, and as John already mentioned, an incredible wing differentiate. But, John. Mohammed is a killer. Watch this guy. He is an assassin. Yeah, you don't become a championship fighter without being amazing, but for the number of championships Pet Morigot has got under his belt, it's just amazing. Phoenix World Tighter on the line. Mohammed the champion. Pet the challenger. Phoenix 7. Teddy Mobe alongside John Sampson bringing you to the action. Here we go. Aggressiveness from Mohammed, but well, we knew that. So it didn't Pet. Pet knows that. He has to ride out the storm. Let's see it. Pet really just measuring out his opponent here. Yep. Pet waiting to see if Mohammed will show his cards. Pet waiting for a kick in the armor. Huge kick. Heavy leg kicks by Pet. Mohammed goes with a big overhand right, can't make it. Neither fighter want to give an inch. Pet now back against that corner. Is Mohammed going to work? No, he lets him out. Mohammed controlling the ring as he should, the champion. I love that, that double up on that jab. Pet Mel Crew can work a lot off that jab. Kicks, punches. Pet happy to be here with his back against the ropes. Not scared at all. A big head kick almost gets around the guard. Retaliation by Mohammed hits nothing but ropes. Now they're both center square, center stage. Crowd urging the fighters on. Almost a jump by Mohammed. Aggression now by Pet. He sets back though. Thinks better of it. Here we go. Phoenix fight seven. Strap on the line. Champion versus challenger. France versus Thailand. Mohammed just can't get in close enough to strike. The defense on Pet right now on a thousand. He's dictating this fight off the back foot. Aggression from Mohammed. Can he get close enough to do what he wants to do and unleash that power? Almost. Now Pet here, what we see him doing, he's doing some tricky maneuvering. He's he's going for those high kicks with his right leg, but he knows his real weapon is the left kick. So he's trying to trick his opponent, get him not to expect that left kick, and we're going to see a lot more left kicks coming. Up. Beautiful, beautiful takedown by Mohammed. He doesn't have the experience, of course, that Pet Marcoot has, but he is so powerful, so strong, so athletic. Oh, head kick gets through. No, nope, that was a slip. See? Mohammed takes himself down. Yeah, that was a slip. Back center stage. Round one. Round one in the books. Here we go. Phoenix title on the line. Masterly now, defended right there by Pet. Masterly. It's very impressive right there. And that was killer. Take a look here. Mohammed couldn't even hit him. He circles away from the road to the head kick. Once again, Mohammed goes for the takedown. Can't do it. A little bit of aggression. Pulls back. Beautiful work. Now, the last fight, 
the last championship fight. Teddy, you got the scorecard yeah. right in front of you. All judges scored it. 49-48 for your win. It was a unanimous decision, 49-48. That is just incredibly close. Doxila yes, maybe got happy a little bit quicker than he should, but he ended up with the, with the big win in the end. 49-48, uh, all hard. Congratulations again to Toxila for getting that title strap. Toxila, the new Phoenix World Champion. That's true. Now, we have a champion in the ring right now, Mohammed from France. Challenger Pat. Pat Master got defense in round one. Maybe frustrated the champion. I don't think so. Champ is going to play his cards close to his chest. Let's see. He was chasing him a little bit. We don't want to get him caught with a counter. Well, let's see. Beautiful crowd here, packed house, Qatar Stadium. Who's that, Thailand? No better place to be, John. Beautiful here. Nice yes. car seats they have, like movie theater seats here. What do you think of that? I love that, huh? It's great. Beautiful. I have not seen seating like this before. All right, we're back at it again. Two Fun. champions in the in the ring just pounding on each other. It's going to keep getting more intense. Again, five three-minute rounds. Muay Thai rules, of course. You'll also notice that we've got two champions, and as the caliber of fighters goes up with the bigger fights, there's a lot more camaraderie between the fighters. All right, round two. A lot more aggression coming from the Thai fighter. What did he see? Oh, elbow over the top. Bringing it to the champion. You want the belt? Come and take it. Is he going to take it? Elbow over the top. So much aggression from the Thai fighter. Elbow inside. A that lot knee. Of output. Another knee. Couple of really strong knees there in the in the lockup from Pet. Oh wow! Twelve to six elbow from Pet coming right right into Muhammad's back there. Somewhat of an eye poke maybe. What are we seeing here? Look at that blood pouring right off of him. That elbow busted him wide open. Oh, they call the fight! Oh my God! From we... a doctor's decision and a beautiful, beautiful brutality. That elbow, John. That was just absolute brutality right there. An elbow like that could take out anybody. Muhammad stayed standing through it. He did not get knocked over, but the blood pouring off his head. The doctor just had to call it. I'm sure Muhammad's not happy with the call, but but I think he knew it was coming. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the championship Sorry, belt yeah. for this contest, once again, call. is the president of Phoenix Fighting Championship, Mr. Shahey Yerevanian. Mr. Shahey, I have to present the award. And we have a winner, a new, under 68 kilogram Phoenix World Champion, Pech Monocot War Sankrapai! And again, congratulations to Pech Monocot War Sankrapai from Thailand. Gets his 156 win. Crown the new Phoenix World Champion at 149 pounds. So this is just intense. We've had two championships change hands already tonight. Now we have three more fights left tonight. All of them championship matches. So far, two championships have changed hands. There's no knowing what's going to happen tonight. Up next, another Phoenix World title up next. Wow, there he is, the champ, the spoil, go for the victor. Modern day gladiator, and gets great in gold. Look at him, thanking the audience, thanking Tyler. Thanking the audience, thanking the spirits that, that rule the stage, the fighters that have fought here before and moved on. Thanking the world. I, I, I think... If you're winning your sixth Ladies championship, and gentlemen, moving on. There's no we have you want to thank is there. World title contest fighting for the Phoenix under 59 kilograms world championship belt. Please welcome our first challenger making his way to the blue corner from Thailand, Petwason or Daukrajai. Petwason or Daukrajai. 
Hi. Wasson is his real name. He's 20 years old. Uh, unlike some of the other Thai fighters we've had here tonight, he's only had eight professional fights so far. Uh, he's won six of them, uh, lost one, and had one draw. And please welcome the second challenger making his way to the red corner. Also from Thailand, Kauna PK Santai Muay Thai Gym! Here he comes, Kauna PK Santai. PK Santai World Famous Gym. You know he has the back behind him, you know he has the team behind him. Introducing Will these be two the Phoenix, Phoenix world today. title challengers once again, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He is 20 years of age and stands 173 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Pexwason or Daukrajai. And standing across the ring in the red corner, this fighter is 27 years of age. He stands 171 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Kauna PK Santai no. Muay Thai Gym. Nobody wore the belt down to the ring. We're going to call this a vacant belt, yes? That's what it looks yep. like. Looks like it's a vacant belt. Up for grabs. No champion, only challenger here. Now, Kao Na, I'm just going to go with the wild guess here. Yeah. Uh, we see his name written down in English, but from the sound of it, it sounds to me like Thai for rice from the field. Kao Na, yeah. Well, the way I'm pronouncing it, yes. So far, we've only heard white people say the name, so I now, can't say for sure. His opponent, Pet Wathorn, Pet is diamond. You know, like Pet Dom Black Diamond. Yes, yes. Pet so, is a diamond in Thai. Wasson. Uh, Wasson is, uh, it's, it's, it's a term dealing with wealth and oh, prosperity. Oh. So it's like the, 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 yeah. That'd be the diamond to holder, if you yeah, might yeah, say. Okay, yeah. The guy with all the diamonds. That's who this guy is. Yeah. Let's just hope he hasn't put those diamonds into his boxing glove. Uh, that is true. But eight times, I don't. I want to say that that's a misprint. I mean, a Thai fighter at 20 years old only have eight fights, and they're now fighting for a Phoenix War title. But I mean, if that's it, that's it. But that's, it's so unusual. But let's see, especially going against his compatriot with 123 wins. Also, look, look at Pet Wasson there doing the Lamoy dance. Now, because we have two Thai fighters here, mm -hmm. they don't have to be respectful yeah. of their foreign opponent yeah. and forego the dance. They are doing the full traditional style that you see here when Thai fighters fight each other. They're stretching out. They're getting mentally prepared. They're getting ready. Look at that right there, that beautiful rom. But this dance is also to please the guardian spirit of the boxing yep. stadium. They're gonna do everything they can to get everybody on their side, whether they exist or not. Thailand, very spiritual country, but another thing that you have to be impressed with John, is a small country like Thailand, smack dab in Southeast Asia, ended up creating the greatest stand-up martial art in the history of humankind, by far. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. This it's martial art, uh, the old-fashioned version of it, anyway, was actually used to great effect oh, in wars. Of course. Yeah. This was, is not originally a sport. This was warfare, and that was how people fought. Um, imagine you put a spear in their hands, and the fighting style stays the same, but instead of a jab, you got a spear. That's what they did back in the day. There's some great old movies yep. you can see it in. World-famous MMA fighters come here to train. World famous kickboxers, world famous boxers. They all appreciate and honor the culture and heritage that is Muay Thai. Yeah, Muay Thai is, if, if you're an MMA fighter, Muay Thai is just invaluable to your repertoire. Yep. 
and you know, I, I, I'm a former wrestler myself, yeah. so I'm very pr proud of wrestling as a sport. People say, yeah. people say, if you have studied wrestling and Muay Thai, that's all you need to be an MMA fighter. Oh, you do very well with just that. Absolutely, sir. There we go. Once again, Kauna in the blue. Pet Wasson in the red. 130-pound title. Phoenix world title. Excuse me, vacant world title on the line. The only discrepancy here is going to be the fight records. 157 fights versus eight. That is huge. Pet Wasson has to climb a big mountain. And Kaona is a previous champion back when he was 108 pounds, very small. Got to imagine he, he was pretty young at that point. 18, 19. Sir. So he has the advantage when it comes to experience. There's no question about that. But Pet Wasson, very impressive in his last few wins. This is it, round one coming at you hot. Teddy Mauve alongside John Sampson bringing you the action of Phoenix Fight 7. Live, Patong, Phuket, Thailand, the mecca of Muay Thai. No better place to be but to watch these modern day gladiators battle within the ropes. All eyes center stage. Now, classic Muay Thai. They may not be so aggressive round one and two. They might read each other. This is the chess match with dire consequences. You don't want to just come out here and unload. Now, Pet Wasson, even though he hasn't got the experience of his opponent, he has grown up with the sport. That is just taken for granted. All Thai fighters have grown sure. up with this, regardless of when they actually started fighting themselves. Pet, though, taking the center of the ring. Kaunov, much, much taller. Much longer fighter. Let's see if he uses that to his advantage. He is trapped now against the corner. Is Pet going to go to work? Yes, he is. Big right hand. Oh, excuse me, big left hand, big left kick. Kaunov, orthodox. Pet, southpaw. Now Kaunov takes center stage. How not? Pet back against the ropes. No urgency, though. Ah, nice aggressive right there by the blue corner. Very tepid, very timid right now. Head kick almost. Blocked by Kao Na. Nice looping left to enter into the clinch. Are they going to go to work? A little bit too early for them to go to work. Pet moving closer to attack. Kaunas sees that. Beautiful defensive team kick right there. Oh, there's a nice right hand. Excuse me, left hand. Oh, look at the aggressive count on now. One, two. Oh, they're slinging now. And Kaunai reset. clearly trying to intimidate his opponent. Beautiful sweep. There's no way Pets only had eight fights. I'm sorry. It must be a misprint. I, I, I really... Oh, oh, oh. And round one in the books. Now that first round, without question, is going to have to go to Kana. Pet was on. Had some great combinations there with jabs and cross punches. But that last kick that just knocked Pet was on right over, that's got to win the round for him. Oh, absolutely. There you go. Deal with the action there. The class at the corner. And then there we go, that second leg kick with the aggression there from Kao Na. And then here, there's that beautiful tweet John was talking about. Scored so high in the eyes of the judges. And there you have it. Again, 130 pounds. Phoenix world title on the line. Kao Na in the blue. Head in the red.
All right. What an amazing evening we've had. A night of champions, if you will, in Patan Beach right now. And it's not over. We're going to have two more championship matches after this. We've got the IBF title as well as the WBC title. And, and the champion, Yusef Bogdan. One of the most famous Muay Thai fighters on the planet. Moroccan Belgian descent. But, I am done. That's the whole show. He's a pony. He is no slouch. 160 pounds. Let's come at you next. Come forward out. We still have a potential four more rounds here for the 130 pound title. Phoenix title on the line. Here we go, round two. Once again, Kauna in the blue, Pet in the red. 130 pound strap on the line, Phoenix seven. Again, they'll be a little bit tentative this round. Oh, beautiful setup there for that big knee, but checked by Pet. Pet has a giant back. Look at that. These guys are in shape and poised to strike. Hours and hours in the gym. Blood, sweat, and tears for the Phoenix Strap. Here we go. Kauna now putting, his, putting Pets back against the ropes. Is he going to work from here? Head kick from Pet to break the concentration of his opponent. There it is. Trying to work. A big sweep. No. Grabs the ropes, Kaunar. You know, Pet Wasson looked like he was getting a great kick there, but he just can't beat with Kaunar's level of experience. Wow, what a sweep again. Two for two on sweeps. You're telling me this guy's had eight fights. Call on your bluff. Not against someone as skilled as Kaunar. The way Pet is controlling right now is incredible. Off the ropes. Oh, big clash. Oh! WWE? Uh, he almost threw him right out of the oh, ring what there. What a rumble action right there. Are you kidding me? Uh, I thought he was going to land on a table and break it in half. He's very strong, though. Look at look at Pet. And his arms, his back. This guy's got power. Kauna. Let's see. Kauna. How is he going to handle it? Vicious left kick. Kauna is feeling very confident right about now. Yeah, here we go. Big left. Look at that. Pet urging him on. Kauna now trying not to get into a brawl. Pet is firing on all cylinders right now. That left leg is cocked and ready to go. He is loaded. Kauna very precise, very calm here. Good check by Pet. Saw that coming a mile away. Oh! oh. oh. Pet Garçon with the takedown. Kauna was not expecting that. Stay over his opponent as well. Stands over Pep. Suddenly, Kaunas not so sure he's got this fight in the bag. Look at that. The crowd is going wild. Have you seen so many takedowns in one round? Uh. Pair of takedowns from Kana, one from Petwasson. These guys are going at it full throttle. The audience is just getting more and more into it with each fight. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is let down at this event tonight when they bought their tickets. Five championship matches. Can you believe that? Okay, you take a look there. There he is. That was Pat. 
There is Pau Nau right there. In the red. Pau Nau's in blue. Still feeling pretty pleased with himself. He's not doing bad. But he knows it's not going to be the easy fight that he might have thought. Pau versus Tom for the Phoenix World title. Pau Nau in the red, taking the blue. Pau Nau with some good taste in his pick, though. Very, very aggressive. Stay tuned, two more fights coming up next. IDF on the line, WBC on the line. Saksan in the house, Yusuf Sogan in the house. A night of stars, a night of gold. Here we go. Here we are. You see at the beginning of every round, Pat Wasson there bowing in the corner. Yeah. Looking for uh, any edge he can get. This is the money rounds right here. Round number three, they're going to pick up the pace. Although the pace in round two, it was getting pretty hot. crowd is popping on all the hits now. All eyes on the Phoenix rig. Kaunar back on his opponent against the corner. Big kick there. Partially blocked by Pet. Pet now circling away from the ropes. Kaunar going for the kill. Big elbow. He can taste that gold. Kaunar can taste that gold. They're locking up, throwing the knees in there, but not enough action. Referee's going to have to break it up. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. Round number three. Pet in the blue, Kaunar in the red. I was calling it differently earlier. I apologize to the fans. Both fighters now. Clash of Titans. Kaunar, nice step in knee there on the right side. Pet circles him now, pushes him against the ropes. Referee seen enough. No time to go for the throw there. Pet getting a little aggressive now, doesn't want to get caught in the corner. Pau Nau with a beautiful step knee as well. Wow! There's that knee, crowd's popping on every hit now. Tries to wrestle him to the ground, but the ropes stifle the takedown. Pau Nau very, very uh, aggressive right now, moving forward. Oh, Pet Wasson is taking some punishment. Oh, big clash right there. Great Kano outside with some kick heavy, there. Heavy left leg kicks. Referee separates. Looks like Pet's on the aggressive now. Doubles up on that kick, hits the next one. Now, now almost egging him on now. Real power in that. This crowd is going bananas. Here we go in the clinch. Oh, and just done. Knee, the knee from Kana there came clearly after the bell. But yeah, sometimes you just get so into it you can't help yourself. Pet was on. How about that fire at the end of the round there? All right, here we go. There they are clinching now. Kona hitting him with some vicious knee, slapping him to the side. Kona totally dominant right at that moment, but he's coming back. Kona with a big smile on his face, happy as can be. Round 
four coming soon. I need to see more aggression from Penn. Pound nine, he's very, very controlling this fight right now. Egging head on. There we go. Final moment to win it. There he is, Mr. Cha A. That's who brought us these beautiful fights right here. Thank you so much. Mr. Cheyenne pointed beautiful. his friends out to the camera. This guy must be so proud of himself right now for putting together such an amazing fight tonight. Amazing promotion, amazing people, amazing fighters, amazing Thailand. Doesn't get any better than this. Phoenix Fight 7. Teddy Mulvey alongside John Stanton. Honored to bring you this card. Honored to call these fights with you. And here we go. Phoenix World title. Up for grabs. 130-pound division. Kauna in the red corner. In the blue. Again, praying to whoever he can for for some way to win this fight. The aggressiveness, the power from Kauna may be the key. Pet though has a uh, oh, there he is, that big leg kick. He's got power in that leg kick. I want to see more of it. There it is. Clash of the Titans here. Back and forth action. Nothing happening there in that lockup. Great defense there by Kao Na. Stalking his opponent. Yep, yep. Pet felt it. Started to get aggressive. He needs Kao Na to respect him. Oh, big head kick by Kao Na. Eaten though by Pat. What a chin this kid has. It's a big kick followed up with a nice jab. Confidence rising right now for Kao Nam. Pat trying to put the pressure on him, but he gets backed away. Look for the take. Look for the takedown from Kao Nam. Nope. Both fighters peppering knees. Separation from the rack. When Kana steps to his right, vicious things come later. Here we go. Is it going to be the takedown? Nope. The crowd asking for knees, begging for it. He had some excellent explosive energy from Pat Wasson right there. What a takedown. Another takedown. But if he gets a chance, he's just going to keep coming back with that explosive energy because he knows he's probably going to need a knockout to win this fight. Okay. Kauna probably leading by points with a comfortable margin at this moment. A minute 20 left in the round. Crowd is on their feet. Nothing happening in that place. Referee separates. Now searching for it, really trying to attack. How not controlling? So strong. Yeah, you're gonna see it now. The insurgency now by Pet. He's gonna have to take it to Count Now. As he is. Oh, flying knee right there, but another takedown by Oh, Kauna. Kauna comes back with the takedown. How does he keep getting up after that? Wow. In any other matchup, if if you had the moves and the number of takedowns that Pet was on did, you'd be in the lead, but no. Kauna has had even more. Absolutely. Wow. What a matchup for the Phoenix World Title. 130 pounds. Again, Kauna in the red. Head in the blue. 
There's that beautiful takedown. He is so look, strong. Look at that takedown. He just tossed Pet while showing like a rag doll in that one. And, and then, and then Pet was throwing the takedown on Tana. Big Lee just misses at this one right at the end of the round. Puts all his weight on his opponent. Phoenix fight seven. Are you not entertained on cards? What a night of champion. Count out really controlling. Being very, very strong. Pet's gonna be chasing him now. This point, Pet while showing the blue corner is definitely feeling it a lot more than his opponent. He's hoping for a knockout in this last round. If he doesn't get it, looks like the fight's going to be going to town out. The crowd is pumped right now. This has just been non-stop action from these two guys. All right. How not? It looks like with a little bit of an early celebration right there. And here we go. Fifth and final round. Three minutes. We will have a new Phoenix World Champion at 130 pounds. How not in the red, head in the blue. How not caught it, thought better to attack. Heavy, heavy leg kick from Kao Na. There's a beautiful aggression now by Pat. But that leg kick is so vicious, hits him again. Almost a takedown. Intelligently grabbed the rope. Almost a takedown. Here we go. Back at it. Two minutes, 15 seconds left. Round five. Beautiful footwork and head movement by Kao Na. Absolutely firing on all cylinders. Once again, full, oh, almost a takedown. Good attempt by, good attempt by Pat. Kaunado, full prevent defense. Great hands. Swinging for air, though. How now is going to, yep, he's going to grab him. He's going to play defense right now. The red down. corner is all defense right now. Takes him down again. Slow to get up, wasting time. A minute 25 left in the round. Another beautiful head movement. And grabs him. Can he get another takedown? Cannot. Happy to clinch. How now in control. Happy to be on the defensive now. Yeah, work behind that jab. Foot movement. A lot of really strong punches here from Pet Wasson. He's going to need him if he's going to get that knockout he's so badly looking for. Last minute right now. Final minute. Round number five. Phoenix title on the line. Yeah. How now is going to want to dance around. Look at Pet now ripping in those punches. Beautiful uppercut in there. Trying to get that title. Oh, good right hand. Is it too little, too late? Going for the knockout. Pet trying to be a champion, leaving it all in the ring. Beautiful dancing by Kao Na. Oh, he is just and pounding Kao Na right it. there. That is it. Final seconds. Look at the love these fighters have for each oh, other. Admiration and respect, sir. They just drop to the floor and bow to each other. It's such a high sign of respect in Thai culture. Now, Pet Wasson was dominant there in the final round, but I'm going to have to say the fight's going to go to Kao Na. He was dominant for most of the fight, but Pet Wasson in only his ninth professional fight ever.
we're going to see a lot more from this fighter. Only 20 years old, he's got a ways to go in this business. Ladies and gentlemen, after five fantastic rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards and we have a winner. And still, Phoenix World Champion from the red corner, Kona P.K. Sanchai Muay Thai Gym! And congratulations, Kaunar, P.K. Sanchai. Kaunar retains his championship, and well done. That was non-stop action in that fight. Look at him posing there for the cameras. Look, look at him. He's that's a playful fighter. I noticed during the fight, I, I feel as if these fighters know each other. They were making some really playful looks at each other. At one point, I even saw Kawasan, uh, Pet Wasson, sorry. That was on look at Kana with this look and said, hey, good kick, Ladies buddy. and gentlemen, if you think it's hot in here, it's gonna get much hotter right now. Our next contest will be fought for the vacant IBF Muay Thai world title and challenged for the Phoenix World Muay Thai title. Please welcome our first challenger making his way to the blue corner. From Thailand, Payakdom Extra Cold Film. Payakdom right here, 25 years old, 175 centimeters tall and 72 kilograms or 160 pounds. He's got a hundred fights, 60 wins and 38 losses, two draws, and he is the Max Muay Thai champion. Does not have the championships of his opponent though, that is for sure. Coming up next, the man, the myth, the legend, Yusuf Boganism. A little bit of dramatic okay. pause here before bringing out Yusuf. Little problem here with the cards. Just one moment. Challenger in the ring, there he is. As John said, Max Muay Thai champ in his own right. Looking to become the IBF world champion. Phoenix title on the line as well. Two titles on the line That's in this good. match. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the second fighter making his way to the red corner, Sexan or Quan Wan! Wait a second, the cards have been changed, it looks like. We have changed the cards. We've now got Sexan instead of Yusuf. Yusuf going up against Payaktu. So it's the WBC Muay Thai title that they're going to be fighting for. fighters facing off against each other ladies and gentlemen this contest will be fought for the WBC world Muay Thai title the challenger standing in the blue corner he is 28 years of age and stands 169 centimeters tall he represents Thailand he is Rodlik Jail Talentum so this is Rodlik, and standing not across Payak the ring Doom. in the red corner is our second The last challenger. two fights have been Swiss. He is 24 years of age and stands 170 the, centimeters the big one tall. For last. He represents Thailand. He is Saxon or Quan Wang. But 
All right, so we have Sexon versus Rod Leck right now. Yep. For the is not coming out until the final fight. This is for the World Boxing Council Muay Thai title. We're gonna have to wait one more, one more fight before we get Yusuf and Payagdum in here. But this is gonna be, this is gonna be a fight of immense proportions. World Boxing Council Muay Thai title on the line here. And again, the the card for the last fight. 49-47, all around for the winner and champion. Pau Na dominated that fight beautifully. 49-47 on all cards to the red corner. Scoring by the judges there is very consistent. Every single judge giving it the exact same score. That's got to tell you that they're pretty accurate. Again, we see here with the Ramoy dancing. These guys do not take the tradition lightly. This is a very important part of the art form that is Muay Thai. All right. And that music you hear in the background, those are made with reed instruments you'll only find here in Southeast Asia. That's right. That, that one you hear that's kind of taken over, the squeaky noise, that's called a B. Now, Sexan, champion among champions. WMA World Champion 2010 for Sexan. Max Muay Thai Champion 2014. Master of the Ring Champion 2014. Currently two-time Omni Stadium Champion at 160 pounds. He's a Thai Fight Champion at 160 pounds. Oh, I'm gonna keep going. Wacko Pro World Champion. Rochadamnan Champion 160 pounds. Phoenix Fighting Championship, Muay Thai, London and Bangkok, 160 pounds. Sex on. And he's got 200 fights. No, I'm sorry, my, 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 my card was wrong. That was not Sexan. Sexan is a Siam Sport Award. Channel 7 champion, 122 pounds. Best fighter of Rotterdam, Rotterdam and the China fighter. Sorry. The cards are changed. The information that we have in front of us has been changed. It's a little bit of a, of a mess up. We're trying to work through it. Sorry about that, fans. We're trying to give you the best card that we have, but to be honest with you, a lot of mess ups going on here. Bear with us. And the challenger here, Rotlek, looking at our new new readout here. 169 centimeters tall, 65 kilograms. He's got 139 fights with 96 wins and 40 losses, three draws. No championships to his record yet. He's looking for his first one tonight, and it's a big one. World Boxing Council. Right. Now, Rotlek has won a championship. Yes. It doesn't say it here, but Rod Leck has it in the Channel 7 champion. He is a Channel 7 champion for sure. Of course, you would know you work for Channel 7. Yeah, yeah that's right. So, yes, I, I, I've seen that. Absolutely. Were you there when he won that fight? I've called that fight. But, again, the information that we have is kind of all over the place. We're trying to do our best here in the booth. Um, but here we go. WBC... Muay Thai title. Sexon versus Rod Leck, 140 pounds. WBC Muay Thai title. All eyes center stage here. Phoenix fight seven. The audience Live feeling a little bit restless after that mix up with the cards. They're ready to get the fight underway and and here it is. Fighters come to the center of the ring. Rod Leck looking big. Wide body. A lot smaller though than Sexon. Sexon, of course, 200 fights. Rod Leck, 139. Not much of a discrepancy. Champions in their own right. Belt on the line, round one. Five three-minute rounds. Here we go. Great aggression early from both fighters. 
Long jab from Sexton. Let's see if he works behind that jab. Good body shot there. Sexton using the jab up high and down low. He's so crisp, so clean in his strikes. Great check right there. Again to the body, Sexton. Sexon trying to establish dominance early in the fight. Both fighters attacking tentatively here, not really linking any combos together. A feeling out process right now. But good aggression here in round one. Love that body rip there by Sexon. Inside leg kick, outside leg kick. Rodlek trying to get some, trying to get some success here. Oh, but nice spinning back fit. Wow, Sexton with a spinning back elbow early. Rodlek shakes it off. A beautiful body rip again from Sexton. Goes up top next time, eats a leg kick. Another spinning back elbow. Going for the kill. And aggressive there, that right, right leg kick, right punch combination. I love it. This is high level Muay Thai at its finest right now. Saxon in the red, Rod Lech in the blue. WBC Muay Thai title on the line. Standing toe to toe, Rod Lech caught it. What's he gonna do? Let's it go. Smile from Saxon, he knew it. Great defense by the red corner. Neither one wants to clinch this early in the fight. Again, five three minute rounds. And round one in the books. Look at them smile at each other. So round one went by with uh, very little of note. They're clearly just trying to feel each other out, except for those spinning elbows from, from Sexon. That was something. If, if he got away with that when they're just feeling each other out, imagine what he's going to get away with when they're going full throttle against yeah, each yeah. other. Here we go, round one in the book. Again, sorry for the mix-up early on, but we're back at it now. Six on in the red, Rod left in the blue. Belt on the line, champion against champion for sure. Combination of about 350 fights between these two. Warriors in the ring. Packed house right now. The Tom Boxing Stadium, small packed house. Very intimate, amazing place here for Phoenix 7. What a great card we had, the card of champions, the card of gold. Teddy Molde alongside John Sampson bringing you, the, excuse me, bringing you the action. Thanks for joining us live on Facebook and on the Fight app. We, we saw, we saw Belt change hands, Belt be defended. What a night, John Sampson, are you not entertained? And it is still going. We've got a huge title on the line here. Another in our main event coming up right after this. All right, there's the bell. Now here they come to get back at it. Round number two. Great push kick from Rodlek right off the bat there. Yeah, we'll see a lot more aggression from him here in this round, I guarantee it. A little bit of urgency from him. Sexan, though, calm, cool, collected. Beautiful kick there. What a heavy body shot. Oh, really dug into that right. Rodlack finding some good work on that combo. A minute, th oh, excuse me, two minutes, 30 seconds left here in round number two. 
Stiff knee by six side. Backs Rod Leck to the corner. Rod Leck digs to the body. Look for some elbows inside. Pummeling inside Rod Leck. Good knees there by six side. Staying active. Referee has seen the knock. Both fighters with venom on these strikes. Great combination there by Rodleck to the body, goes up top. Saksan now trying to work in the clinch. Excellent knee, bullying his opponent against the ropes. Elbow over the top, maybe. Saksan was in position, he goes for the knee instead. Referee has seen enough. WBC title on the line. Saksan in the red, Rodleck in the blue. Beautiful step. And an elbow inside as well by Saksan. And now a body rip step in by Rodleck. Standing right in the pocket and ripping now. Saksan finding a lot of success with that knee. There it is again, punishing. And a spinning back elbow working off that jab. That jab has been working all day. Oh! Axe kick misses. Double knee now. Saksan is firing on all cylinders, folks. Saksan is doing a great job maintaining dominance so far. Locked up, still throwing the knees in there. Road leg was not able to get a knee back back into Sexon in that lockup just now. Oh. 30 seconds left in the round. Back and forth action now here in the clinch. Muay Thai 101. At its finest right here, these two modern day warriors. Referee's seen enough separate. Sexan going for the takedown on the ropes, though, could not get it. Just a few moments here left in the round, and that's it. What a round. Muay Thai at his fun. Take a look there. Sexan working up that jab, PA overhand right, hand in hot and heavy. Those stepping knees were so effective. Again, we're going that jab. Rod Lex off some success with the body shot. There's that step in knee again. Going for the takedown, as John said, but could not get it. Wow! Place is really electric right now here at the Tom Boxing Stadium. Paradise, Phuket, Thailand. Phoenix Fight 7. Stay tuned. IBF strap on the line next. WBC on the line right now. Right now, Rodleck knows he's got to step it up a bit if he's going to be able to beat Sixon in this. So far, Sixon's been maintaining dominance, and it looks like the fight is going in his direction, but there is still plenty of time to go in this championship bout right now. Look at how calm he is right there. No big deal. Big smile on his face right there. Sixon definitely in control. Didn't take too much damage. Looked and very crisp. Controlled these rounds. There's Ron Lex. Tell him you gotta defend yourself. Come in with more combinations. Link those combos together. He did find success with his body shot. Couple step in knees were good as well, but he needs a lot more output, in my opinion, to get over six on. Here we go. Round three, first of the money rounds. Heavy leg kicks both fighters to start the round. Yeah, a lot more output now by Rod Leck, just like his corner asked for. He's delivering, great knee inside. Retaliation by Saksan, doubles up on it now. Saksan now inside, pummels inside, may see an elbow. Slap knee, look at Rod Leck, bowling him against the ropes. Referee has seen enough, the crowd is going bananas. Two knees by Sexan. how grueling this work is. Pummeling their arms. 
Grappling. Great body rip by Rod Leck. And we have it, the lockup with the knees that that is so famous in, in Muay Thai. You see that every night that you have a fight. Two minutes left in round three. Two minutes left. Aggression by Sixon. Elbow over the top. Did it rock Sixon? Seems to have his wits with him right there. Draping the shin across Rod Leck midsection to negate any of that offense there. Referee separates him. Here we go. Reset. Great jab. Step in knee. Push kick Sixon. God, that jab has been looking so pretty. Beautiful knee Sixon. High guard both fighters, slap knee from the side. Six on three, unanswered knees, referee separates. Flying knee, six on! Beautiful jab, step in, knee, that has been his combination. Rod like with an elbow inside! This is a dog fight, John! Oh! Huge Look elbows over the top! Slicing and dicing now. Beautiful brutality. Sixon may be cut or it may be the lights. You need to take a second look. Beautiful right hand. There's that knee from Sixon punishing the side of Ron Leck. Again. Bullies him in the corner. Both fighters concede to the ref. A lot of knees back and forth there. Sixon dishing out a lot more than he's taken. 45 seconds left in the round. Yep, great defense there by Sexan. Gets two knees in, drapes his shin across the midsection. Rodlek finding success with his hands this round. That knee is left. There it is again. Trading elbows, both fighters. It's a war. 20 seconds left. These guys are not slowing down. Knees back and forth. Another elbow from Sexan. Banging back and forth. Great right hand there by Rodlek on the inside. Wow! Look at the audience just breaking into applause for both these great fighters. My lord. Oh, Road Black was so him. strong coming out of the gate there in that round, but oh boy, did Sexon deliver some big punishment. Here we go. Look at that knee right there. Knees back and forth. The two of them locked up there. It's knee after knee. Then the flying knee again from Sexon. Who is this guy with these moves? Flying knees, spinning elbows. This guy has got the moves, he's got the power. Rotlek is gonna have to hope for, for some really big moves in this in this final period. Rotlek definitely has found some success with his body. Couple body hits, couple open knee shots. Elbows, of course, rocks the side. But overall, the jab and those stepping knees by Sexan have been dictating where this fight is going in the pace of the night. Wow! Phoenix 7, are you not entertained? These modern day gladiators going to war. This is the kind of action you look for when you come to a fight, and we haven't even hit the main event yet. Amazing. See what's going to happen in our fifth round here. Is Rod Leck going to pull a rabbit out of his hat? Or is the fight going to go to Sexon? Just, just as Sexon is probably expecting right now. I think we can expect some very defensive fighting from him in the final round. But he loves those fancy moves. He might just he might just have a rabbit in the hat of his own. He's got to be careful, though. A wounded animal is always dangerous. If, if what you say is true, Rod Leck's down, which I think probably he is. He will be as dangerous if he throws caution to the wind. Throws some heavy elbows. Can knock anyone out. Oh, pause in action. Problem with the glove right there. Rotlek needs his gloves retied by the by the ref here. Short pause in the action. It's okay, we can wait a few seconds to see these guys beat each other's heads in. You hear the, you hear the, uh, the cornerman screaming. All right, right, we're back at it. Huge right hand by Rod like that's what I'm talking about. If he throws caution to the wind. 
Heavy knee kicks, big elbow inside, Rod Black. There's that team kick keeping him away. Defensive now. Throw them hands, Rod Black. There you go. Sixon bullies him against the ropes. Another solid knee from the red corner. Another one. Putting the pressure on. Sixon will not go to full prevent defense. Not yet. He's literally ahead in points. Flying knee. Another flying knee. Rod Black vicious elbows over the top. He's already yeah. ahead in points, but I think Sexan is going for the knockout as well in this fight. They're going to bully each other, make it a dog fight. Let's see. Good Another kick. deep kick. Working behind that jab. Doubles up on that right kick. And we're back into the clinch. Rodlek almost dumps him out of the ropes. Royal Rumble style. This is a war. WBC Muay Thai title on the line. Such aggression from Sexan, trying to seal the deal. There's that vicious elbow, that right hand. Can't get the trip, rips to the body, Rod Leck. Huge combination to the crowd getting behind him. The boy in blue, giving it his all. Sexan now peppering him. Rifle shots inside, rep pries him apart. That's it. Sexton working behind that beautiful jab. That right hand by Rodleck has been landing heavy all night. Elbow inside, is it enough? Oh, four unanswered knees. Muay Thai at its finest. Wow. Look at everyone holding up their fingers. They're counting it right along with you, Teddy. Less than a minute left in the round. Another knee. Beautiful brutality. Two. It's three, a dog fight. Four. Over the top Rod set. Rod Lack, excuse me, over the top. Sexan holding on for a little bit longer, trying to get that time wasted. Sexan. seconds left. Vicious elbow inside. Sexan. Busted him open. That elbow just ripped his face right open. Sexan is going for the knees. Rotlek throws Six. in that elbow. Sexan gushing blood. Wow. Look at the gambling pits. Going bananas. Wow. Look at that. Wow. What can the quarterman do? What can the quarterman do? Uh, so, so dominant throughout the fight, but just taking so much punishment there towards the end. Where is that cut? Is it above the eye? Yes, it is. Right there on his eyebrow. That is going to be difficult for him to see. Unless, this corner, let's take a look at the action. It's just leg kicks by both fighters as is early on. Finally, Rodman scores with that elbow. He's been hitting with it all night, and now busts him over. Almost a takedown. Goes deep, another one to the left side has been punished by Rod Lack. Elbow over the top, this Sexton now defense there in the clinch. Could you see that elbow though? That initiated that disgusting cut. They are going to work on it right now. Sexton corner. Rod Lack is still in this. He is still in it. Take a look, can we see that elbow? Here he comes. Not there. They just it's not there. It's got to be the next one. Yeah. All right. That's all right. But that was the same move he had there. Sexton is throwing the knees. Right leg sneaks in that powerful elbow. That's all it takes to change the momentum of the fight. I will see if he did manage to change the momentum like he's hoping. And there's a bell. A call to action. Listen to this Phoenix crowd. Another knee from Sexon. Round five. Fifth and final round. WBC Muay Thai title on the line. Sexon in the red. Rod like in the blue. We have a war on our hands.
Sexon on the back foot. Sexon's wound already reopened. Yes, it has. Huge knee by Rodleck. Rodleck with the flying knee, giving Sexon a taste of his own medicine. Flying knee for Sexon now, back and forth action. Referee saves him from going out of the ropes. This guy gushing blood from the face, still enjoying every yep, moment of it. Two. Sexon working that jab, working that knee. It's been golden all night. Rodleck now aggression in the clinch. Referee separates. Rodleck really chasing the fight. Great body lock by Sexon. Knees back and forth. Both fighters trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Texan's going to waste a couple seconds. A minute 35 left in the round. Great jab work by Texan. Story of the fight for me. And those step in knees. Let's see if Texan's going to hold a second longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. There he does. It. A minute 20 left. Texan full deep prevent defense now. Rod like chasing. Does he have it in him? One of those elbows can say goodnight, and he can take this title home. Sexon protecting his face there. About a minute left. Beautiful right hand by Rod Leck. Whoa! Spinning elbow, that one connected. Missed his first two, that one ricocheted off his forehead. Both fighters going for the kill shot. This is it. You hear that drum. 40 seconds left. Goes for a takedown. Headshot. Just missed. Rodleck chasing the warrior spirit. Saxon beautifully displaying his defense right now and his skill. Footwork. Look at him. Are we going to see a touch of the gloves? Oh, Saxon asked for a touch of the gloves. Rodleck says no. He'd rather fight this out. No dancing. 10 seconds, about 10 seconds left. Rodleck maybe another Rodleck. clash, let's see. Has Rodleck got anything left uh, in him? That's it, there we go, folks. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. WBC Muay Thai title on the line. What, what, seven. what a battle. battle. What a battle, Texan in the red. Rodleck in the blue, judges' scorecards for a decision. Grant Waterman will tell you what we have. Wow, what a fight. Take a look at that action. Sexon was so dominant there in the first few rounds. But holy cow, did Rock Leck come back with a vengeance. Waiting for the judges. So hard to call. I'm going to say Sexon had those first three Later. rounds. Let's see Light. what the judges say. WBC World Boxing Council Muay Thai title on the line here. Ladies Sexton, and gentlemen, before we it. announce this decision, please make some noise for both these fantastic warriors. What a fight! Just amazing sportsmanship from both fighters there. Sexon looking pretty happy and confident about his showing in this fight. Right. Four cards are in. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the championship belts for this contest is the president of Phoenix Fighting Championship, Mr. Shahei Yerovenian, and the director of the WBC, Kiet Kunchana Sidagal. And after five incredible rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner and still WBC World Muay Thai Champion, Sexan Orquanbo! And there you have it, Sexan Orquanbo, the champion, retains his title, WBC. Boy Thai title.
that beautiful goal draped across his chest. What a war, what a battle. Set time, congratulations, another accolade to the many hanging on his wall. What a champion, what a gladiator. What a fight, what a night. Phoenix 7. Stay home on site, John Sands, and bringing you the action. Stay tuned. The champ is here. Yusuf Bogdan is in the building. Coming up next. Look at that. Sexon stopped bleeding from the face just in time to dance from the camera and receive his congratulations from Chai, the president of Phoenix Fighting Championship and the director of the World Boxing Council. His parents got to be proud of him. Now, now we are coming up on the main event. Finally, the fight that you have all been waiting for. We have here oh, Yusuf Ladies Buganen. and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of the evening. And this contest will be fought for two world title belts. The IBF World Muay Thai title and the Phoenix Fighting Championship World Muay Thai title. Please welcome the challenger making his way to the blue corner from Thailand, Payatam Extra Cole Film! And now we've got Payatam coming into the ring. This guy, 25 years old, been in 100 fights. He's the Max Muay Thai champion, as I mentioned before. He knows he's got a huge challenge ahead of him facing off against Yusef Luganev. But he's no small fry himself. He would not be here if he didn't think he could win it. I got to right. He's the champion himself. He's up to the task. A modern day warrior. If anyone gives Yusef a run for his money, it is Payak. And next, making his way to the red corner is the reigning Phoenix World Champion from Morocco, Youssef Bukhanum Petsamé! The champ is here. Listen to that crowd. Youssef Bukhanum. Moroccan-born, Belgian race. Look at that meat. 185 centimeters, 72 kg. 204 fights. 84 knockouts, 178 wins, 22 losses and 3 draws. WMA World Champion, Max Muay Thai World Champion, Master of the Ring Champion, All New York City Champion, Thai Fight Champion, Waco Pro Champion, Rocky Dunham Champion, Phoenix Champion, and now will he be the IBF Champion. IBF vacant on the line. Phoenix title on the line as well. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing these two Phoenix Warriors once again. Standing in the blue corner, this fighter is challenging for the IBF World Muay title and the Phoenix World Muay Thai title. He is 27 years of age. He stands 176 centimeters tall. He represents Thailand. He is Payatam Extra Cold Film. And standing in the red corner, this fighter is challenging for the vacant IBF World Muay title. He is the Phoenix World Muay Thai Champion. He represents Morocco. He is Yusuf Bukhanom Petsaman. There we go. Maybe the Moroccan the rock star in the ring here. The moment you've been waiting for. Last fight of the evening. Thanks for joining us. A little bit of technical difficulties a few times. We apologize for that. Thanks for sticking around. Teddy Mulvey alongside John Sampson bringing you, bringing you the action. Beautiful Ram right here by both fighters. This is the first time tonight we've seen a Ram Moy from one of the foreign fighters. Oh, Yusuf has a very good Ram. Yusuf is clearly no stranger to Thai traditions. 
And I'm not surprised because he loves his fans. You see him walk oh. out just reveling in the glory. First thing he did when he walked out, bow to his audience. A so he, son here from Tyler, and we love him here. Accept him with open arms as well. He has great respect for Ty Coates and the Ty audiences and his opponents. Yusuf was interviewed before this, before this fight a few days ago. He said he enters the ring as a champion, the mind and the heart of a champion. He says, do not enter the ring if you don't. We know some people enter the ring for money. We know some people enter the ring for glory, for fame. He enters the ring for a legacy. He enters the ring to be a champion, witnessing history right now from this gentleman. Right, well, you know, he was saying, he was saying earlier that some people say once a champion, always the champion. Yep. But his, his response to that is, no, I have to be a champion in every single fight. That's right. Duh. So he's he's coming in in style, and he's trying not just to keep his title, but to do his absolute best to prove that he's worthy of this championship with each fight. But he's staring across at Payak Dam, Thai champion in his own right. Now, the discrepancies really would be the height. Yusuf does have a 10 centimeter height advantage. That's big. But looking at them in the ring right now, I don't see, he's, very, he's taller, but 10 centimeters may be a bit aggressive. But he is the bigger fighter for sure. But other than that, 100 fights under the Thai, Thai fighter's belt. Champion in his own right. Yusuf has not gotten here on an easy road, nor did he choose to get here on an easy road. Nope. He's gone through murderers, and he's walked through them all. But now, the new test. And for Payak Dam, what a test. What a notch on your belt to be able to take off Yusuf, to be able to snatch the IBF belt and to take his Phoenix World belt from him to solidify yourself in the Muay Thai arena as well. God, I can't keep it together, John. I'm so excited for this fight. Five this is what we've been waiting piece. for. Thanks for joining us again. Tenny Wolve alongside John Sampson. 304 fights between these two warriors. Champions galore. History will be made tonight. Who will write it? It's written by the winners, isn't it? See who will win. That it is, Teddy. Last instructions, last prayer, and there's the bell. Oh man! Phoenix Look at him. Fight Seven main event. Look at Patong him getting those. Pet Thailand, the Mecca of Muay Thai. It doesn't get any better than this. Round one. I wonder if they're going to be tentative or aggressive when they come out, right? Is this going to be old Muay Thai or new Muay Thai? Let's see. Well, they're certainly going to feel each other out, at least at the very beginning, but... Heavy kick, look at that right-hand punch off that catch by Yusuf. Yeah, but only the very beginning. They're, they're going straight for it. Last time I saw Yusuf fight, he devastated his opponent. TKO standing up. His opponent didn't want any more. It was a no-moss. How's Payak Dom going to handle this? Aggressive elbow inside. Great head work by the TIE fighter. One-two by Yosef. Heavy, heavy right kick by Payak Dom. World-renowned right leg. Starting to use that weapon early. Oh, gets through Yusuf's guard. Big smile by Yusuf. Beautiful. God, the way Yusuf sits into that, that right punch, that straight right, it is so devastating. Sits right down on it, so crisp, so accurate. Elbow this time again. Beautiful head work by the Thai fighter. Yusuf, it looked thrown off balance for a moment there. He put it all into it, that's why. Oh, heard that all the way back in Bangkok. Outside leg kick, Yusuf. They're standing right in the pocket, John, right in front of each other. Big leg kick there. Body rip. Look at that combination. One, two, one. Beautiful work, Yusuf. Backs away, smiles at his work, goes back in the pocket. Once again, using those hands. Hey, Abdam weathering this storm so far. Good knee, referee seen enough, they break. A minute 10 left in round number one. Main event, IBF, Muay Thai title on the line, Phoenix World title on the line. Bacon IBF, Phoenix held by Yusuf. 
Oh, he's gonna get that takedown. Beautiful body lock by Payakdown. Bullies into the corner, can't do it. Yusef shakes it off. They're staying just in striking range. I love it. Outside leg kick. Yusef using those hands. Payakdown now retaliating. Combo of his own. Rips the Moroccan fighter. There he is again, Pepper in that leg. Always active. One, two, push kick. Oh, that was beautiful. And again, finishes that combo with that kick. Look at him. He wants to brawl. Tie fighter does it. Hayekdom's going to use this as a feeling out process. Maybe he's going to wait until the money rounds. Three and four. Yusuf says no. Round one in the book. Beautiful. Beautiful brutality. Whoa, 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 whoa. The hey, first hey, man, hey. the first man to be taken down. Payakton's trainer falling over the top rope there. There's that beautiful right by uh, Yusuf. His combinations are so deadly. Great outside leg kick by Payakton. Right there. Tails. Payakton retaliating. Good head kick there. Yusuf tells him I blocked it, baby. Wow, well, the fighters shine there at times. Yusuf really aggressive with his combos, really throwing his hands. Plant down now, just feeling him out. Thai style at his finest. Boy Thai at his finest right now, folks. There's our beautiful crowd here. Look at that, put your glasses on. Hello. What a great crowd we have here for you. Thanks for joining us again on Facebook and on the Fight app. And you won't let fight John Sampson. Loving this job right now. But what we're looking at Phoenix Fight Ring. There he is. The man who put it all together. You want to thank someone that's it for the card of gold that he gave us. And a beautiful show with the top eight. Thank you so much for that. Bow down to that man. An appreciation. There it is. Look at that. Got to defend himself when he comes in, I think they were saying. He's kind of letting himself go a little bit. Easier said than done when you're looking across at something like you should visit it. You know, you tell him what to do, this, 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 but then the other, you yeah, know. He's trying to take it all in, but he knows a lot of that's just going to go to the wind as soon as he gets back in there. There's the sound of the bell. Round number two coming at you hot. Here we go. Five three-minute rounds. Once again, IBF title on the line, Phoenix title on the line. IBF is vacant, Phoenix is useless. Payakdam trying to take both home tonight. Oh, beautiful right hand. Look at the aggression there by Payakdam. He needs that. When Yusuf hits you, you better hit him back. Oh, slip, great. Down, slip, what do you think? Uh, that looked like a sweep to me. It he, was a sweep. he may have slipped as he was being sweeped, but see it from that angle, folks. I'm sorry. Could have been a sweep by Yusuf. Oh, huge body rip and retaliation by the tie fighter. Another one. Oh, oh, big sweep, but intelligently, Payakdam. Yeah, he says no, no, no. Intelligently, Payakdam holds the ropes. I love. Her right in front of each other drawing a line in the sand take a look for that right hand to go off on Yusuf heavy heavy left kick look at that jab now by Prattam Yusuf several in a row beautiful work there there's that right hand from Yusuf check that kick beautifully Prattam back against the rope another good sweep rope save him aggression now from the top fighter big right hand Smile from Yusuf, you know that means it's stung him. Yusuf controlling the ring beautifully. Great outside leg kick. Peppered that a little bit in round one, he goes back to it. Push kick keeps the tie fighter on the ropes. Elbow inside. Look at the aggression from Bayek down here in the second round. He's got to get up in Yusuf's face. He can't just let Yusuf dictate this fight. We go. Each fighter now tentative. There's that right hand falls with a body shot. Intelligently, Payakdam fighting back. Sometimes he needs to get off first. So far, Yusuf's the only one getting off first. 
Tie Fighter not initiating anything. What a beautiful left counter right there as Yusuf goes in. Wow! Thunderous body shot. Good knees inside. Wow, look at the respect. Oh, he got him in the cup. Referee <laughs> getting right in there. It's assault in some states, brother. Back at the action. Yusuf just pinning him down, cutting the ropes off. Great head movement. Good check there by Payakdam. Now they're both just looking for an opening here. Payakdam rips it to the body. That went through the guard of Yusuf. There's that right hand man that is the best in the business. Ah! He blocked it. That was definitely blocked, but... Yusuf caught it again. Beautiful sweep. Stands over him. Referee has to get him away. And there you go. End of the round. Round two in the book. It was looking pretty close there until the end, and Yusuf scored that takedown. Good there we see it again. No, no, that was a skip, I think, right there. That was just... And there we go. Intelligently grabs the rope. Here's a takedown here at the end. Boom. That's it, right so there. Stands over it. That was... That Keep was no slip. That was that was I made you eat dirt and I loved it. Alright, let's take a look. I just think Prayakdom needs to get off more. He's always waiting for you to, to dictate where the fight goes and how it goes. But here comes round three. It's the money round. Someone like Prayakdom, this is when he when he hits the hits the gap. Doesn't let off the yeah, gap. Yeah, this is when he's gonna come out strong. Uh, he doesn't have a huge window of opportunity here against Yusef, but if we're going to see something happen, I'm banking on it being in this next round right here, Teddy. Again, history will be written. It's written by the winner. Who's going to be the one to write their name? Take home two belts. The vacant IBF. And Yusef's Phoenix World title. Will he retain it or will he relinquish it? I ask on. So it's signs of greatness in that round. But will he be great enough to beat the champion? That is the question on everyone's mind here throughout Patong Boxing Stadium. What a beautiful venue we have today and a beautiful show. Last fight, main event. Thanks again for joining us on Facebook, joining us on the app. Teddy Mulvey alongside John Sampson, honored to bring you guys this card. This beautiful brutality, the symphony of strikes in the Mecca of Muay Thai, Thailand. Showing the culture and heritage of this fine country. And it is on display right now. There's the bell. Corners are getting out. Non-stop action, round three. Here we go. Again. Payakdam back against the ropes. Look at Yusuf now. Letting him get off it. Huge leg kick. Thunderous by Yusuf. Look at that. Underneath Yusuf's left arm is a disgusting red welt. You can see the power. Oh, and Yusuf just, just bullies him down to the ground there. Just strength. Yeah. Big red and bruising underneath Yusuf's uh, right arm, uh, left arm, excuse me. Power of Prayakdam has been displayed. Head kick blocked. Yeah, Yusuf wants a brawl. Prayakdam wants to play a chess match. Yusuf wants a dog fight. And he's going after it now. Attacking him again. Oh, ref stops. Ref he stops. Had, I'm back, back to the opponent. He had to be held back there by the referee. He's... The referee is telling Prayakdam to fight. Oh, here he is, the aggressor! Yusuf, this is when he shines. This is it. I think Payakdam's doing it, playing it smart, not going into a war. Well, Yusuf he, will win the war. Payakdam is staying defensive. Yeah. That might be his best shot. Yusuf ain't taking it. He's, he's saying, come at me, bro, come at me. But Payakdam keeping it cool, knowing what's best for him. That may be the best game plan. A slow, calculated point match. God, that's the same spot where Yusuf has been brutalized already earlier. Great knees by Yusuf. 
Yusuf's still trying to egg him onto a dogfight. Trying to bring him into deep water, see if he can swim with the shark. Yusuf's a great white. There's that beautiful kick check, though. That right kick, good knee, barely misses. I kind of like Kayak Dom's game right now. He's getting in Yusuf's head. He really is. I don't know if it's going to win him the fight, but Yusuf's getting out of his comfort zone here. Frustration a bit. Oh, God, doubles up on that kick. Oh, oh, Four. vicious. Oh, my God. Four unanswered kicks in a row right yeah, there. Yeah, he can't just keep taking this. What is happening? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what is whoa. happening? Did he? Piagdum just. No loss. He was dazed. He lost his ability to defend himself right there. And there you have it. Referee stoppage. Round Good call three. by the ref, too. And Yusuf kept going. That could have become very dangerous. He was just beaten up and bloody. It Look at him right there. He drops his defense. He ain't got anything left in him. No mob. And once again, hail to the king. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to finish the evening. Great Make some noise once sure. again for both these warriors. And this, my friends, is why Yusef is the world champion. Yusef Bogdan retains his Phoenix world title. He's and presenting the championship the belts IBS for this contest Boy is the president of Phoenix champion. Fighting Championship, Mr. Shahai Yerevanian. Look at and how he revels in the love of his the fans. IBF this Samsung guy Senator. was born to be doing this. Uh, he could not be happier right now. Adopted son. And, and look at those rows, those first of capillaries. And in the that, third round, our that was no strong hand fight. Pagadoo gave him winner. some solid punishment, but the Yusuf dished it out a lot Muay Thai harder champion, and a lot stronger. And still, Phoenix World Muay Thai Champion from Morocco, Yusuf Bouchanam Petsama! There you have it, Yusuf Bogan in the winner and the spoils. Thank you so much for joining us on the Facebook and on the app. This has been Phoenix 7 from Patan, Pantia, excuse me, Patan, Phuket, Thailand, Teddy Bobe, Jonathan Samson. Thank you for joining us. Our championship matches. We're in the presence of greatness. We will see you guys again at Phoenix 8. Well, Ladies and gentlemen and fight fans around the world, this has been Phoenix Fighting Championship. This was Phoenix 7. Thanks to each and every one of you for your support. Keep up to date with all the action and future events on Facebook at Phoenix Fighting Championship. The best is yet to come. We'll see you next time on Phoenix Fighting Championship.